All right. Time to do some exercise. Actually, everything's actually set up and working here. Looks good on my end. That's good. Yep, perfect. And this is looking fine there. Excellent. All right. Nothing's in the shot. Yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, time for some ring fit. We'll finally finish off that world today. Enough fighting statues, although I think we have to still fight one more. Good evening. Still up for day 19 of your adventure? So you've been working hard at the front press lately. For working your chest muscles, I recommend the front press. Strong chest muscles can help improve posture. We're going to make sure we stretch this week, because we didn't last week. And I think that caused problems. Keep your posture straight. But hey, at least now we can experiment Three, two, and see if it actually one, does help. Go. Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Make sure your back is straight. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Oh. Well, Focus still as shitty as ever. Of your Although it doesn't feel quite as tiring as last week, which is good. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Uh huh. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that audio. Fortunately, we don't need audio for this part. Breathe in as you extend your legs. That is kind of odd. Seems like it's back. still playing on the stream, so that means it's something. My headphones are kind of screwed right now. Unless I just bump the volume slider somehow. Let's do one more of each. But we'll figure that out once we're All done right. these stretches. Good. We'll stretch our body and then we'll stretch our minds. And figure out this problem. Raise the ring con above your head and lean Can move over a bit so I don't hit the ceiling over there. Without letting your head drop. Try not to bounce during this stretch. Let's do I mean, it's technically speaking, I don't need audio for any of this game. I can do it all visually, but Great you know, job. it's nice to have. Alright, let's see if I can figure out why this is doing the way it is. Good English there. Did I bump this? No, I did not. Hmm. Let's just double check something. That's weird. Audio is still going into the stream, apparently, according to OBS. But my computer got muted? That's really odd. How would that have happened? Yeah, like, audio is going fine into OBS, both input and sound. That was weird. Well, whatever. It's fixed now. Alright, before you start Ring Fitness today, I thought I'd mention something. The meter in the bottom left displays the time exercising, but it can also display an estimate of how many calories you burn or distance you've run. I think we went over this before, game. Like, a long time ago. Alright, El Dorago. We'll finally find the fable arena of Drago himself. I hope. So we got two left. We also have mini games. And a couple more fights down here to do. Why don't we start with this fight, warm ourselves up, and then we'll go do another level. Can turn my audio up a bit. There we go. That's better. All right, what we have here. Well, I think we should, as usual, we'll start with the easy one. Come on. There we go. Now, I usually keep it on the timer just because it gives a nice indication on how long I've been playing. Excellent. Actually playing and not just standing around doing nothing. Nice. Fine work. 
I've been doing like half an hour lately just because of the uh, rhythm game mode, which I usually end up doing for another half hour, so it all works out in the end. So even though it's Easter Monday, I did have to actually unfortunately work today just because well work did some weird things with the holiday last okay. week and gave everyone an extra day off on Thursday as opposed to Monday. And it made sense in context, so no one's getting short or anything, except me because I'm an intern. So technically I had to work Thursday as well. But honestly, it's no different to me. Having Friday off is nice. I got some extra stuff done as a result. Like the new emotes that you might have noticed. They are all done. Ready for use. Feedback is always appreciated on them. So I'd like to hear what uh, everyone thinks. Any things about them they'd like changed. Or, you know, even other emotes that I can try and make. Because there's still a couple slots left for different things. Uh, there is a... Apparently you can get emotes now for... Uh, cheering so many bits. I think it's like if you get do a thousand bits, you get access to another emote, which is interesting. Plus, not to mention, I have a ton of slots left on Better Twitch TV that we can take advantage of for various things. And then, of course, there's like the $24.99 subscription. But let's be real, no one's paying for that. I mean, even I would never pay for that on anyone else's channel. What's the next one that we usually do? I think this one? Or what is... This one's 275. Well, yeah, this one. It's also one. Oh, overhead. No. 210 versus 215. This makes more sense to do. Okay. Got it. Let's go. I originally wanted to make some emotes that were like themed around either Mario Maker or Osu, and I'd still like to make an Osu specific emote, but I can't think of anything that looks good at the moment. So then I was just like, well, wouldn't it be better if I made something that was more versatile and usable in other things? Which makes more sense, really. I don't know why I thought I need to make them themed off the bat. So that's where we ended up with the two that we have right now. But yeah, no, there's lots of Bear Twitch TV slots, so I am totally down to make some or add more to that. Or if you know of any other Bear Twitch TV emotes you'd like to see on the channel, then I'd be willing to add those as well. I don't even remember having so many slots. I remember only having, like, a couple. And then I looked at it again when I went to upload these new ones, and it's like, oh, you have 25 slots. I'm like, wait, what? Because I'm pretty sure I filled them up the first time. I remember only having like a really small handful and filling them all up, but I guess I have more now, so hey, I'm not complaining. Although it's not like people end up using them anyways. Oh, nice. Did my audio get muted again? That's sick. I wonder how that keeps happening. I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh, now I guess I do need audio after all, because I don't even realize it switched to uh, fast mode. Alright, I'm gonna have to take a second to figure out why it's doing this, because this is a new problem I've never seen before. <laughs> all this talk about Doppler effects in my stream today, oh boy. It's actually... Oh, no, it's back now. The hell? Okay, that's it. We need to figure this out. This is weird. This is getting a little weird. Where's my audio? Why does it keep muting? Why the hell would it ever mute? That is so strange. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. What if I just, like, unplug my headphones and plug them back in? Well, that's...
That did something. It broke the game audio. Huh. Let's see. Options, properties. Oh, I think it broke this audio because this is now broken. Which means I need to close this. And figure out why that is. Da, 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 da. Digital audio. Hmm. Well, that's strange. You want? Know I'm just going to quickly restart. Avery Media here and see if that fixes the issue. I don't actually stream it through OBS directly because I found that the video quality is kind of weirdly compressed and laggy. I don't know why. So I use the software it comes with the capture card and then just screen cap it. It's kind of redundant, but it seems to work better. So I'm going to continue using it. Although this is a new issue that I've never seen before. Okay, well, audio is currently working, so let's just leave it and see what happens, I guess? I've never seen it mute like that before. That's so strange. Well, we'll see. Then a number of restarts. Let's see if any of them fix problems. Oh, I guess I should probably switch it back to the game. That would probably be helpful. Oh, I have to recapture this. Oh, not that one. The other one. There we go. Everything seems to be working again. Alright, well, we'll leave it and see what happens. It's strange because it's like it mutes, but it still comes in. Oh, I guess we can play this. Is this a battle arena? Fitness gym. Oh, no, no, this is... Oh, this is a yoga challenge. Oh boy, 17 minutes. That's really long. Probably because yoga takes forever to do. Alright. Oh, except it's not just yoga. What the hell? This is just the... The sun... Salute the sun from fucking Smash Brothers. Fantastic. We're doing We Fit Trainers Neutral B. Okay. I don't know how this is going to take 17 minutes. Neat. Like, what, what is it now? It's saying it's like 427. I don't know if that 17 minutes is like measured in active time Fantastic. or if it's measured in real time or what. But we're going to see. It says 4.27 now. Maybe I should just go look at the stream timer. Yes, yes! But we'll see what the exercise timer Amazing. says. Because if it's going to take 17 minutes, that means we'll be at about 21.22 by the time this is all over. And I'm smelling some bullshit here. Because I feel like this should be a lot quicker than that. I mean, hey, if this gives us some new shoes, green shoes, no less, they look pretty snazzy. Okay. And if those shoes give us better stats, then this will all be worth it. Okay. Kind of a shame you can't sell your old equipment for more money. Because nice. I feel like that would be really helpful, gain some of this stuff. Plus, you know, sometimes you do run across equipment that's worse than your current set, or you just don't want it. It'd be nice if you could do something about it. See, it's like I'm been a minute, and I'm just about done this first exercise. Very nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Nice. Keep it up. 
Although I guess there's one way we can calculate real time from this. Is it's been so far very consistent that for every minute of exercise, it's taken about two minutes of real time to do one minute of exercise. So basically, whatever this says at the end, we can just double to get the real time. It's kind of interesting that this is actually a yellow move and not a green one, considering that it was uh, under the yoga category in Wii Fit. Oh, the arm spin. Oh, man. It's been a while since I've had to do that one. Come on. I'm raising my arms. Rotate the ring con around. Turn. 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 Man, I'm just looking at the icons down there. It looks like we're doing a bunch of classic moves. We got the uh that that knee squeezing ring con squeezing one I can't remember what it was called but that one's been a while since we've done it although I think we have a new version of that coming up soon on the skill tree so oops all right so if we were to calculate the real time it's been about six minutes of real time so about 11 minutes to go. So maybe that 17 minutes is accurate. It generally doesn't feel like 17 minutes. Here we go. Alright. Okay. Thigh press. Let's see if this works with these pants. I don't think it's going to. Oh, this is going to be really bad. Oh boy. Nope. <laughs> really now? And, uh, and why would that be? We're going to do this. I think this might work better. Get some grip from my actual legs. My sticky, sweaty legs. Those, that'll hold it in place for sure. Here we go. That's some progress right there. We'll definitely finish this world off today. I think it's gone on long enough. Considering we only have uh, two more battles to go anyways. Take it nice and slow to start. We'll go do another stage and then we'll play the mini game. And then we'll make sure we got all the smoothies and equipment that we want. And then go fight Drago. Assuming that my theory from last week about it, making sure that the last one you pick is always Drago, is correct. Then that'll be the plan. Alright, about 5 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of real time. Let's see if we can beat that estimation for once. Two more. Awesome. Nice. Nicely done. One left. Nice. 
There we go. Alright, what's next? Is this a new one? This might be a new one. I won't need the screen. Okay. What are we doing exactly? Thrusts. We're thrusting. I'm gonna keep my pants like this because it seems like I still need my legs to hold things. Okay, so squeeze knee. Whoa, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. Squeeze knees together. Hold ring con. Okay. Oh. I'm supposed to be able to like. Oh, I guess I go like this. I don't know, man. That's gonna be like really weird to hold it. I guess like this. Okay. Okay, let's move. This will work your Whoa, does it ever? Holy shit. Oh well here goes my B ring. Oh and there go my headphones. <laughs> oh jeez. That's gonna be this entire mini game in a nutshell, isn't it? Ah, uh, continue. Yeah, I, I get a game. I don't... This is gonna be really hard to keep still. I've always had problems keeping this thing steady. It'd be nice if I could just, like, turn side. Actually, why can't I do this? I don't know, is that gonna be better? Because, like, I think these grips are making it too slippery. I don't know, it says don't do that, because it's... It probably knows. I mean, it's... Rotation of the Joy-Con, that's probably the easiest thing to detect. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh my... Sometimes I just like strap this to my legs. This stupid thing. What the hell? Okay, I think we got something. Okay, let's move. Okay, amazing. Well, there goes the audio. <laughs> Very nice. That sounds really weird for the next Maybe couple minutes while I figure this out. This is really hard on the calves already. Holy shit. Yes. Yes. Sharp. Great. Wonderful. Very nice. Awesome. Yeah, I think my legs are getting sore from this and any squats that I could have possibly done. Okay. Oh, I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Let's see if I can get these back on. Okay, I think I found... It's not quite like the example, but I feel like it should be decent. Oh, maybe that won't work. Come on. Nope, that will not work. Yeah. I don't even know how it's going off. I'm not squeezing the damn thing. Okay, like this. Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. How to struggle? It's a freaking toy. I can't even hold this damn thing between my legs. Okay, like this. Okay. Usually I'd make a joke about how okay. kids are supposed to be able to figure this shit out. But I don't even know if this game is really meant for kids. Alright, well, note to self, never attach, put this move on my list. This move sucks. 
You have to stand up. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Come on, game. Let me finish my exercise. This is why it's going to take 17 minutes. Because of this. They knew this would be a problem. Obviously. It's the only explanation. Okay. Hold the ring con between your thighs. Maybe if I turn it this way a bit. Okay, let's move. Maybe if I just squeeze harder. That can help. You know, I think that's the issue here. It's just an issue of friction, or lack thereof. That's going way better. Well, I hopefully I didn't mess up my B rank from this. Probably not. And there's still, I think, one more exercise after this, so... Good. Right. I don't want to ever see this move again. Holy shit. And return. Excuse me. Fantastic. Okay. Even so, it's still slipping out of place a little bit. Come on. Ah! Ooh, that was dangerously close. Holy shit. Oh, that's a hazard right there. You know, they sent out gloves to prevent people from getting blisters from playing Martyr Party of all things in the 90s. Again, surprised no one's uh, sued them for not providing cups. Did that work? Are we done? Have we suffered enough? Have, have we suffered enough? Is it complete? Are we done? Yes, everything is here. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we're still not done. That's like the, what, fourth time now, I think? All right, I think this is the last one. It had to have been close. Well, I don't care, just... Are we, are we good? Is this gonna work? I, did I? Did I really though? At what cost did I make it? Oh, the tree pose! Wonderful. Alright, well, even so, that's infinitely better than whatever that was. Okay, time to balance. At least this doesn't require almost destroying my crotch. Oops, okay. Oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Whoa, oh, oh. I don't remember having to do this with the tree pose. Actually, I don't even know if I had to do the... Had to do the tree pose in battle. Come on. There we go. Oh, don't need too much. Hey, if I can get through this thing without putting my foot down on the ground. I, I did it once. You know, okay. that's my real switch goal sides. here. Don't forget to switch legs. Okay, switching legs. If you need help, stay on both legs. I always love that. It's just like, if you need help, just cheat. We don't care. If you can't stand on one foot, why even bother? Perfect. A little more. I'm probably bending more than the example. And Bend a little more. Oh my god. Can't stand on one foot to save my life. Bend a little more. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this is just going great. And we haven't even done any running yet today. Come on. Two more, come on. Whoa. Oh my god. Perfect. Yeah, perfect, totally. Of course I did it perfectly. What are you talking about? No problems here. What's my score? Better be enough for a B. 96. That's still an A. All right, let's check out these sick new shoes. Hundred and one. Man, I don't think you get this high in any normal RPG. This is kind of ridiculous. Seated ring raise two. Oh man. This three hundred thirty-five damage. That's more than this. Of course, it's only range of one, but that's fine. Wow, a new move and new shoes. That's awesome. Peacock Contender. Increases green skill attack power by 5%. That's interesting. wonder where I'm supposed to get the rest of the set. For when the fabulousness of your body needs a little extra help making itself clear. Yeah, we're going to change. I think. Actually, wait. Did I want to do that? No, no, we're continuing. Um, let's see. Where is my equipment? Change look. The shoes are just put on. Are they worse? No, they're about the same. Okay. They're the same as these ones. Except these do nothing, and these do things, if you get the set. I have not gotten a set. Also, that's a pretty sick hat. I never noticed that hat before, but I like that hat. Okay, let's go do a battle. We'll do this one since it's right here. I'm starting to think we're playing to Drago's hands here. Yeah, really. 20 minutes for this level, jeez. All right, well, we'll do it anyways. I mean, we'll just not do as much rhythm game stuff today then, depending on how long this ends up taking. Because like an hour of this is gonna be like two hours of, of stream. Which will be a, a significant amount. Okay, what kind of endurance stuff are we doing today? Oh, how about the kind where my, my legs don't work? That's the good kind, right? There we go. Come on. There we go. Wow, it's like not detecting my leg at all. Oh, squats. All right, whoops. I'm almost wondering if it's doing that on purpose. Make me run, run harder. Come on. There we go. Oh shit! Wow, that's a first! It actually fell out! Alright. Well, that was interesting. How did that manage to happen? It's not broken. Nope, looks fine. Hmm. I don't know where this thing is supposed to be. Like, is it too far down? Is it too far up? I'm gonna try right there. Because it doesn't feel like it's. Detecting properly. Almost 
Holy shit. Oh my god, no! What the hell? Oh my god. Give me this stuff. Everything's just falling apart. Ring Khan's at the check in direction. No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. There's no way to like charge it up, you just have to keep doing it. Wow. That was brutal. Oh, you have to time it. Oh, jeez. Is that Draco? No, it's not. Wait, is it? We could have found him first. It wasn't scripted. We could have found him first thing. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright, well, we're fighting him now. I'm gonna do the other level anyways, so it's not like it would have mattered in the end. Oh. <sighs> Well, well, well. It's one, two, you two. Have you been joining El Drago's services? You've really got to look up the definition of service, Drago. No, I don't. And anyway, if you're so unhappy, let me make it up to you. With a fight? Yeah, again, I don't think you really understand who makes good service. Like At least he seems alone? That's good. Well, okay, so what should we try? Should we do yellow? Could boost the power of that seated ring rays. It seems like an easy one to do. We'll do this. And this. Okay, everything's yellow. All right, time for some easy mode damage yet again. It doesn't even feel like it was that long ago that we had this again. The last time. Oh man, we're gonna get like, wow, 1800 damage probably? That's awesome. That's actually a pretty good chunk of health there. I just hope we get some rushes. I think we got level 2 yellow rushed, so there's a chance. Especially with this move. Although I wonder if all moves now count as abs as a result. Nice. That's possible, I guess. And he's attacking. Who's attacking? Is it the ball? It's probably the ball. Did you feel it in your stomach? Not your arms. Yeah. Oh, but it's like an extra long one. Wow, that was with the defense. Holy shit. Okay. So, I guess we'll do this one next. Where is it? Yeah. Yeah, because I wonder since they're all yellow if they'd all count okay, towards the possibility of an ab rush or not. Awesome. Good job. We just need four good moves, and I definitely have four good 
single hit moves that we can use against him. That's not going to do quite as much damage, but I still expect it to be close. Maybe like 1,500? If I do this right? I just kind of realized in hindsight, we might have been able to look at the estimated time and calorie count okay. for the stage to see which one is the boss. Because of course Drago's level would take the longest out of all of them. Wow. Okay, we'll have to keep that in mind in the future, because something tells me they might pull this trick at least one more time. We'll see though. Man, a rush would be awesome. I know we'll probably get at least one, like, super attack of his that we might be able to counter. I don't know, we'll see. That's like an eighth of his health, maybe? Oh, he's actually punching this time. Oh, no, no, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Shit. Ooh, boy. Okay. Let's uh, attack. You don't have many hearts left. He's doing like a half T pose to half assert his dominance. Really, really imposing form he has going on there. Okay, what should we use? I guess this one. Shit. I honestly was not expecting this to be the Drago fight, so. Didn't really come into this prepared. Okay, let's see what else we can do while we still have this yellow boost. 275 for that one. Yeah, we can just do this one. Well, on the plus side, we don't have to do squats. I like that. Come on. There we go. 1500 damage, that's good. And he's not... Okay, everything's back to normal. That's fine. I'm gonna take some water. Alright. <clears throat> okay, what's next? Oh, we can do this again. It only takes two turns. Oh, that's amazing. All right, well, we got our three moves in. Um, since this is a boss, I might as well go all out. Guaranteed rush an extra turn. That could be nice. Do you have anything else that'll change? Switches, yes. Heal us a little bit too, that's nice. Attack and defense, hell yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just go through all of them again. Okay, 
Well, on the plus side, we might be able to finish uh, Half-Life Blue Shift this tonight, since this is probably going to be a shorter ring fit session. Because, from my understanding, it seems like Blue Shift's like way shorter than Opposing Force. Honestly, Posting Force should have only taken two streams. I was just really tired that first night, so... Hopefully we can get Blue Shift done in the night. I might even go so far as just to check. Like when I'm, I'm just picky, choosing when to stop, I'll go and check a guy, because if I'm going to end up being close, I'll probably just do the whole thing. Because I would love to move on to Half-Life 2 sooner than later. You know, gotta jump on that Half-Life Alex bandwagon. Well, the iron is freezing cold, after all. No need to rush, though. He's attacking. Doesn't look like he's attacking. He's probably gonna punch me. Oh no, he's gonna shoot. Okay. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Okay, what did I do next? I did front press. Seemed like the obvious thing to do. Second strongest move. Okay, let's go. Imagine holding something in your arm. Okay. Nicely done. Well done. Amazing. Already halfway there even. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright. That means there's probably sure. gonna be phase two, which means an attack we might be able to counter for extra damage. I probably should have used an extra rush and extra turn thing. Ah well, that's okay. Very nice. Wonderful. Keep it up. Okay. Fantastic. Perfect. There we go. Well past the halfway point now. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Almost eighteen. Excellent. There we go. Oh, rush. Oh shit, kind of wasn't expecting that. Push and pull rush. Okay, well, we had some practice with this, with the rhythm game session last week. Oh no, not that kind of push and pull. Ah, <laughs> oh, just about a hundred. Darn. What's he gonna do? Oh, we can't counter this move, but... Oh, well, we got the rush out of it. That's good enough. Time to do a little shooty shooting.
Oh, we did it. Ooh, my arms. Feeling that one. Hey. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. Just a couple more moves. Knee lifts again? Alright, we'll take some water first and then I'll do some more knee lifts. There we go. Maybe like two more moves after this one. I would say. Well, I guess we'll see how much this ends up doing. It should do another 1500. Oops. I like it when this moves faster. This one's kind of slow. Yeah, there we go. Alright, two more moves. Everything's normal. Well, that's the question then. Do I use another smoothie for two more turns? Or do I possibly make it three by not drinking one? Hmm. I guess what I could do is that, um, I could do this smoothie. Where is it? Extra turn. This one. Guaranteed rush and extra turn. Things can go a little faster now. Alright. Easy move time. Then we'll get the extra turn we might need, plus the rush means we'll do a little more damage. And guarantee... A faster battle. I still ended up drinking the smoothie, but it's only one compared to like two or three that I would have drunk him for the other strategy I had in mind, which is just to repeat the last two turns. Oh, come on, if this smoothie ends up being for nothing, I hope not. Yeah, no, I think the rush will finish him off, actually. Could very well do so. Do we not get the rush? Oh. Guaranteed rush. <laughs> well then. So much for that. Oh, well, the extra turn, I guess, is nice. Not that we needed it, then. I didn't get my rush. That's unfortunate. Actually, wait, this is the wrong move. Why would I do this move? Because this one's still on cooldown. I guess that's why. Oh, this does 300 damage. Why wouldn't I do this? This is a much better move. Easier, too. It'd be nice if I got my rush after this turn, but I guess we'll see.
I don't think the color mattered. And even if it did, it was a yellow smoothie, so... And I did a yellow move. So that's definitely not the issue. It's probably because I got the extra turn. But that doesn't make sense. Why would there be a smoothie that gives you both a, a guaranteed rush and an extra turn if the extra turn negates the rush? Maybe I'll get it after this turn, if Drago even survives this turn. Certainly not looking very good there, Drago. Okay, let's switch sides. Don't forget to switch legs. Slowly bend to the right. Oops. Slowly return to the starting position. Don't let your bent knee extend beyond your heel. I think he'll survive. So either one more turn. Which would kind of suck, or I get my rush, and we finish him off. If there's still one more turn, then that means that smoothie was for nothing, which would be unfortunate. Yeah, it's looking like we're going to need one more turn. I hope I get my rush. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, there's my rush. Good. So what's my rush going to be? Oh, the pedal rush. Okay. This one's easy. There it is! Nice! Whew. Tough one. 600 and a sapphire. And 5000 XP for another level. Excellent! Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose! Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release to victory! There it is. Well, normally that would be the end. But we still got one more level to do. So why don't we go do that level? And then we'll do some rhythm game stuff. And then we'll go move on to Half-Life. I knew you'd eventually get your powers back. I knew you'd get your powers back eventually. I just didn't think it'd make you so, you know... Powerful. Now I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board on this one. I've been saving some power for a rainy day, and it looks like it just, storm just broke. Oh shit! And I'm really curious to see where this ends up going, cause you know we've kind of done everything. We've gone to a land that he completely conquered. We defeated all our friends, who may or may not really have been our friends in the first place. Ugh, I thought this would be it. And hey, what was that power that Drago mentioned? Oh, what was the currently accepted quest? I don't even remember. Oh well. Oh, I think I had to bring some stuff back to him and he'd tell us which level Drago was in. No, we'll continue. Moppets gone missing. Gee, I wonder what that's referencing. Whoa, it's so foggy here. It's hard to see anything. This place gives me the creeps. By the way, what do you think Drago meant by that power earlier? First that power, now this stupid fog. Are we sure we're ready for this? And they're off. I gotta buy some time to finish training with that power. But this fog and my flunk, you sh it'll give me all the time I need. Hmm. Well, not sure what he would mean, but we're gonna go back to the last level. Because we're not done there yet. Yeah, we got... Oh, it's only gonna show the next two. That's 14, so, like, 10 worlds to go, I guess? Okay, so we got one more level to do in here. Can we do that quest anyways? Probably. Dragon fruit. Do I have a dragon fruit? I don't know if I want to, actually, at this point. 
I want to know what the dragon fruit does. I don't think I have any smoothies that use dragon fruit yet, so honestly, all the more reason to keep it. What's my... Whoops, that's my inventory. I don't want my inventory. Here it is. I do have a dragon fruit thing. I have none. Or I have, I have four, not none. Usual drink with an unusual f flavor. What? Yeah, no, sorry guy. You're not getting any of my dragon fruit. Fuck that. I'm keeping all of it. Holy shit. Is this even a stage? What? I was expecting another fight. Okay, so if this isn't a fight, then maybe I was right. Maybe because we did all the fights, that's why he was there. I don't know. Maybe if we gave him dragon fruit, he would unlock the stage for us. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, I missed that ingredient. Squats. All right. You can get more power from a squat by bending your knees, but don't extend them past your toes. Holy shit! Uh, no, I thought that was the end! Oh. Are we though? There it is! You did it. No, it's not! Fuck! Wait, there is a battle here! What? Oh no! Right on. Oh no! Two minutes, my ass! Wait, what? What? Wow! It tricked us! Oh, I mean, I didn't really. Oh, I mean, it said it was two minutes. There's no way it could have been a battle. But it tried to trick us. It certainly made me unsure. Holy shit. Oh. Wow. I am glad that world is over. I am so glad that world's over. Oh, it's just a bunch of like boss endurance stages. Man. All right, let's finish it off with some badminton. And we'll get a new tricep kickback. Hopefully it's good. All right, this is the easy one. All right. There we go, okay. Okay, I'm ready. I remember how I played this now. Smack all the discs. Oh no, that was a lot of points.
Wow, come on. I'd like another one gold one, thank you. Okay, I hope that's enough. So it's not based on how long you can keep a combo. Nice, good. It had a set amount. You just don't want to mess any up for extra points. Alright, well at least we got the new tricep kickback. Let's see if it's any good. 240. 3 range. Uh, let's see if it can replace something else. Probably not. I mean, I could take this off, but then I'd only have two blue moves. This boat pose is, like, useless. It has five range, though. Hmm. I'm keeping the boat pose just because it has five range. That seems like the best thing. Everything else is kind of meh to replace, so... We'll just leave it. Oh, well. That's okay. Let's, uh... Oh. I have to press plus for cooldown. Yeah. Quit. Excellent. 500 pendulum bends. 400 overhand bends. Of course, we'll stretch. We don't need Let's this to stretch. Good. Up your body and stretch within the range of your ability. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right and stretch your side. We're actually ending on time for once. Of course, we're still going to go do the rhythm game, but that's okay. Return to your original position, switch hands, and bend the other way. We'll probably do like three or four songs in there. See if we can unlock a couple more Stretch super advanced modes. Bring yourself back slowly. Raise both arms oh, and now the back side. Left elbow. Stretch your upper arms while pulling your elbow downward. Now do the same on the opposite side. Stretch slowly and don't hold your breath. There we go. Why, right, what's next? Right forward, oh, this one. The slightly easier toe touch. And, stretch the back of your left leg. and by slightly, I mean just that. Hold it like that for a little longer. Straighten up and switch oh. legs. Maybe like Osu and several other games I've played on stream. Maybe I'll, I'll touch well. my toes for the first time live on Twitch of all Breathe places. As you hold. Slowly straighten up bit by bit, starting from your lower back. All right, what's next? Put your right leg forward and put your hands on your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. There we go. That's feeling right. Now switch legs. Yeah, I'll move forward a little more for the next one. Shift your center of balance forward and stretch out the opposite side. Bring yourself back slowly. There we go. Okay. Rotate your hands behind your back and grasp your left wrist. While pulling your wrist to the right, lower your neck the same way. Bring your neck back up and stretch in the opposite direction as well. Focus on stretching all the way from your neck to each shoulder. Bring yourself back slowly. And your stretching is complete. There we Good go. Job. Okay. 
good job. Now let's see the tip of the day. Will squats make my legs look bigger? Probably not. Unless you're doing squats while holding heavy weights, your legs won't get thicker easily. However, squats do use muscles in your legs and buttocks, so you may see some differences in the overall appearance of your lower body. The game knows my hatred of squats and it's trying to convince me otherwise. Just a bunch of pro-squat propaganda if you ask me. Alright, one second, let's make a quick note before we start the rhythm game stuff here. Let's move this over for a second. One moment. What's the timestamp on this one? This is at 1.13, we'll say 1.13.30. And today is, what even is today? I don't even know. 13th, okay. Let's see, make a quick timestamp here. 13th. Perfect. Right. Oh, and 13. Oops. Good enough. Okay. There we go. All right, time for some rhythm game fun. Alright, what songs should we do today? We did the super advanced on most of these. We haven't done the super advanced on this one, so we could start with that. Or any of these. We haven't even done this one yet. Yeah, no, that's like the first one we haven't done yet. How many of those we got left? Drago Stadium. Alright, why don't we start with this one and then we'll work on to work up to the super advanced. And maybe even unlock an ultra advanced. I'm really impressed by how complex this rhythm game actually gets in the later stages. Yeah, I know how to play. Things I forgot. Like, I'd forget after a week. One thing I did learn last week, though, and the game doesn't tell you, or didn't seem to tell me, was that you can hold whatever pose you're in with the green circles. The green circles are wild. They don't actually need a neutral position like they might suggest. God, this song's awesome. This is probably my favorite song in the soundtrack. The only thing that's like surprisingly missing is there's no pulling uh, spinners, as I call them. We have to like mash it inwards like this. There's no pulling version, which is kind of strange. At least I haven't seen any yet, and I've played the few ultra advanced stages, so I don't know. Oh, I did it. Nice. Is that a perfect combo? I think that's a, a flawless combo. It is. Excellent. Alright, one more sip of water and then we'll move on to the next song. Try to keep as hydrated as possible. Even with these somewhat simple movements. Practice good exercise habits and all that. Alright, well I'll take that S-minus regardless. 
uh, finish. I don't want to retry. If anything, I'd like to do the next difficulty up. But we'll do a different song first, and then we'll move on to try to do some uh, hard modes. I don't expect to complete all the difficulties or unlock all the difficulties, because you have to get A's in the advanced mode to unlock the super advanced. And some of them are pretty tricky. Maybe that's something I'll do on my own time. But I don't think I'm going to try and do it on stream, because that's just going to be a lot of trial and error and grinding. I mean, it takes me months to perfect the song in Osu. Who knows how long it's going to take me to perfect songs in Ring Fit Adventure, of all things. Getting some Pokemon vibes from this song. Actually, I do kind of curious as to who the composer was for this game. See this like medium difficulty it doesn't really follow the the rhythm too hard, but advanced and ultra advanced definitely do. It's actually kind of insane all the things they pull in ultra advanced with like only three lanes. Like they do shit like that, except it's way faster. Floss isn't too bad. Is that another S minus? It is. I guess if I got all amazings, I might get an S plus. Oh yeah, might as well record it. I don't know why I wouldn't. It's kind of annoying that you have to do that every time. But I guess it wouldn't be a Nintendo game if there wasn't some weird quirk. Alright, let's do... Uh, yeah, we'll do one more of these, and then we'll do a couple advances, and then we'll do one special song. Ready? And then once Go. I do all the songs on the ARMS version, I'll do uh, some the leg stuff. But that'll be a future stream. Oh, I forgot about this music. It's kind of weird, like, listening to it on its own, this music's, like, really good. But you just, I guess, don't really pay attention. At least I don't. I'm not really able to truly enjoy the music while I'm sitting there trying to do all this exercise. Like, I like listening to music while I run. But, I don't know. I guess this game's just a little different. Oh yeah, and then there's streams like this. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh well, missed one. That's all right. What do we get? Still got an S minus. Interesting. Even though we didn't get a perfect combo. Oh, I didn't. Oh well, whatever. Who cares if I record it? I think all the high scores are like perfects, anyways. Uh, let's see if we can check it out. Actually, 
weekly world ranking. They get reset. It only shows mine. It doesn't actually show everybody's, so I don't know. All right, let's do a special song, and then we'll go back and do some hard modes. Switches have we done yet? We did advanced on Wii Fit. Uh, we haven't done Splatoon or Zelda. Uh, we didn't do this one, but we have done everything on this one. So why don't we do... Let's do Zelda. Let's see what the Zelda one's like. This one seems to be the longest of the bunch. This one we'll play a couple of times. I'll do the advance. We'll go attempt the super advance on the other songs, and then we'll come back to this one so we can lock ultra advance. Interesting song to start out with. Oh, this is a harder one. I would love to see someone mod this game and put custom music in it. Imagine doing these exercises to like Freedom Dive or Aleph Zero. God, I don't know what they could do with Aleph Zero on this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I guess it's kind of hard to pick, like, songs from this game besides battle music, because, like, there's not really any other music, except maybe the main theme, I guess. I guess this is dungeon themes, too, but they're kind of slow and, I don't know, not really something you'd want in a rhythm game. Yeah, it's just more battle music. Is this the, um, uh, the Linux? Or whatever they call it? Man, it's been so long since I played this game. But the, the, the horse lion guys. Half this music, what the hell? I guess it's just been that long since I played Zelda. Oh, hey, whoever just wrote that message can't read it right now, but uh, welcome to the stream. How's it going tonight? Oh, I guess this could be character themes. Man, you know what? Never mind. I'm stupid. There's lots of music you can do in, in Breath of the Wild. I'm just dumb. I never did finish that game. I'm still doing the DLC Champions Ballad currently. I never actually beat Ganondorf yet. Not to mention, like, the numerous side quests I still haven't beaten. I think I've still got, like, another 30 shrines to go, so... I mean, it's getting there, but still quite a lot to go. Oh, that was it! Cool! I got flawless. Okay, hey, how is it going? All right, I'm starting to to mod right now. I'm grinding all the shrines and side quests now. Oh, nice. Mod. I'm not sure what you mean by that. But yeah, no, I've got like a lot of shit left to do in that game. I don't know, I guess I could do like a one-off of it, just for the fun of it. That'd be something I could do, but I've got like so many other games that I've got planned out right now. Doing 
random one-offs isn't really in the cards at the moment. Super advanced. Well, we'll try that some other time. I mean, we'll try that next week. I'm going to do... We could do super advanced to this one. How about that? We'll do super advanced to this. Water. Yep, lots of water. Always good to have plenty of water when doing an exercise game like this. All the talking, Ready? all the moving. Go! It's like you need twice as much as usual when streaming, if not more. Oops. Wow, I cannot get the timing on those things at all. They get even crazier in Ultra Advance. Ugh. I don't know if we're going... I think we're going too slow. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Wow, okay. Wow, colorblind much? Okay, that sucks. It's a little finicky sometimes with the controls. Doesn't help my arms are like really sore. Whoops, shit. I think I missed way too many again, A rank. We'll see though. <sighs> Two things, I'm surprised your bitrate is holding up and also you're gonna stream Animal Crossing. You're surprised my bitrate is holding up? Oh, cause of the, uh, yeah I guess all the flashing and stuff, that would probably drop some things. Um. Yeah, I don't know, I guess... Oh, I got a B. Darn. With the bitrate, like, I've got the internet, I can easily stream perfect 6,000. Like, if Twitch supported it, I would be doing 12,000 bitrate if I could. It's the one reason I like YouTube, is because there's no limit on how fast or how high quality you could stream. My Animal Crossing? I think I made a... I made a, a comment on Discord discussing it, but... Yeah, basically, it's not really something I thought about before. Like, it kind of crossed my mind. I guess I'll record it. Whatever. And we will go for Ultra some other time, maybe. Let's do one more advanced song, and then we'll stop this for now. But, like, my town is super boring. I've, I'm have i so slow at that game. I've got maybe... I have five villagers, plus me. And they're just kind of scattered about. Like, I don't have any decorations, nothing... I barely have the money to... Let's see, what one have we not done super advanced on? Yeah, I wasn't able to get so we won't, we'll just try this one super advanced. But I don't have the money to do a lot of renovations yet. I'm basically right now just kind of grinding money with turnips. So I'm going to a town, buying them for 90, and then just going to go and sell them all for like five, 600 each. And once I make enough funds to pay off all my loans, upgrade my house, then I'll start building some bridges and, and buying, gain all the goods I need to start building. And I feel like I could probably do like maybe one or two streams 
when I get to that point. And maybe just do like some crafting and town renovations. Because I have a, an idea of what I want my town to look like. And like, like I know a lot of the things I want for it, not to mention my house as well. So it's kind of all planned out in my head. But it's just a matter of like getting the funds to do it. And I feel like that will be a better stream to do because the lobby will just be more active. Obviously I can do like the usual stuff like going around and, and collecting bugs and all that. Whatever is available at that time of year. But I don't really know what else like to really do in that game. Especially right now. Oops, wow. This is not going to be an A rank, that's for sure. But then I was thinking also, uh, I could also do, besides those streams, I can maybe just once in a while boot the game up and just like take a few minutes to kind of tour around my town and just kind of give like a status update on everything, if that's of interest to anyone. But as for like hardcore Animal Crossing streaming, probably not. I should be like really close to gain all the loans done, so I would expect if I were to do it based on that, it would be like within maybe like May sometime, because I've only got two loans left, and I'm expecting to make another three million or so off of my next turnip run, which is this week, and that should be more than enough to pay off all the loans, plus get a few bridges and stuff. Ah, oh, so close to an A. So, it'll be something, but... Yeah, it'll be, if, if I do any sort of Animal Crossing, it'll be like a one or two off for like a, a hardcore full stream or like an, a dedicated stream time. And then maybe I'll go and do like a couple of updates every once in a while just to kind of, if anyone's interested, just to show off the town and see what, show what's going on. I'd like to get like a set of those Amiibo cards. But it's looking like that's probably not going to be financially feasible because I saw someone selling 150 for like $500 and it wasn't even a complete set. So yeah, I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I, I'll get the Amiibo at least because they're like 5 bucks at EB Games. So whenever they decide to open up again, I'll probably go over there and see what they got. Finally get those. Okay, what are we doing here? I'm going to start changing over to the other game for now, but... I think that's enough of this one. Let's just finish this up. I mean, as for like what's actually going on in town, I'm trying to remember who I have. I have I can't remember all their names. Um, I know I have Sly in my town. I have the purple kangaroo mom with the baby. I have oh I forget his name. The, there's a dog. I mean, there's like several dogs in Animal Crossing. But I think he was like a brown dog and he wearing a yellow shirt. He was pretty cool. They're kind of like, it was funny because I ended up sticking them on the other side of a river without bridges. So I thought it would be kind of funny because I thought they were going to be stuck over there until I built bridges in like three months. Turns out that's not the case. They teleport around. So kind of glad that they do that. A little disappointing nonetheless because I thought it would have been kind of funny if they were just trapped there until I decided to build some bridges in like five months. I'm guessing you have gigabit into my internet. No, I don't have gigabit. I have uh, 180 up and down. That's it. There is no, gigabit does not exist here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. It does exist about a three hour drive to the south in a little tiny town. And they have their own internet provider that they created, which is pretty neat. But no, they're like, I think that's actually Aside from maybe Toronto or Montreal, I think that's the only town that has gigabit internet in Canada at the moment. We don't get the luxury of Google Fiber because that's just not a thing up here. I mean, that's barely a thing in the States, but it's definitely not a thing up here either. Oops, wrong way. It's going to put this switch dock away for now. No, we just we just have really good internet otherwise. I'm my mom knows it's important to me, so I appreciate that. The only downside is we do have a data cap of like one terabyte, but apparently we've never hit it, even though I stream like twenty hour or eighty hours a month. 
at this rate. So I'm kind of impressed that we haven't ever crossed the data cap. Kind of shocked. I don't really know how that's possible because numbers just don't add up. Because like if I'm doing 6,000 kilobits, that's like six megabytes a second. And you, know, you, you, you calculate that out over like five hours a day. That's easily like 10 or 20 gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. All right, turn that off. Or gigabytes. But I used to have internet like that. That was only 15 megabits. Like, I used to live out in the middle of a... Well, it, it was basically a farm town for a couple of years. And essentially, there was a 1,000 people. And apparently, they only got internet a year before we even moved there. So... We were lucky to have internet at all. They were even going to do satellite internet, if you can believe that. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. It was it was ground internet, but it was only like 5 megabits up and down. So it was pretty much non-existent and useless for downloading anything. Streaming was not something I did back then. Uh, now, I need to actually just realize I forgot to install Half-Life Blue Shift. So I need to do that while we're sitting here. I guess I can switch the game over in the meantime. Half life blue shift. Uh, horror. I don't know if I'd call Half Life a horror game, but all right. At least Half Life One. Don't think I'd call it that. Blind casual. Yeah. Okay. Keep everything the same. Otherwise, I'm trying really hard to stream, but it's not going well. Oh. Like, is it just you don't think it, the quality is, is satisfactory, or is it because of your internet? Honestly, like, while it, it's really nice when you can stream 1080, 60, just stream at the quality you think you can handle with your internet. There's some calculators out there that do a decent job of estimating what your bitrate can be. Obviously, they're not perfect, and you should just kind of play around, and it takes a lot of testing. When I first started streaming, I didn't have this internet because I did do a couple of streams on my old internet. And basically, it was just a lot of testing to find the settings that worked. Not to mention, when I did, even when I did get this internet, um, it was a lot of just testing, trying to get everything looking good and making sure that everything was efficient and not using like a bajillion uh, processing power. What am I looking for? I'm looking for Half-Life. Blue Shift. Install. This shouldn't take long to install. Yeah, it's only 200, 300 megabits. A few seconds at most. Where did I put my chat? The thing is, my internet's very... Yeah, it'll go from 25 megs. Ooh, that's really inconsistent. What time of the day for you do you usually stream at? Because, like, if it's during the day, that kind of makes... Well, no, if it's during, like, the evening... That would make sense because, you know, everyone's going to be at home. They're going to use all the bandwidth in the neighborhood. So that's a problem. Um, if you do it during the day when everyone's out at work, that's different. Although it's going to be kind of hard these days because nobody goes to work anymore. So everyone's going to be home all times of the day. So that doesn't help. About 5 to 8 p.m. Okay, well, have a good night. Uh, yeah, 5 to 8 p.m. Yeah, that would be like when a lot of people will be at home doing stuff. So that makes it harder. It's one of the reasons why I originally streamed really late at night, because everyone was asleep. So, I mean, you have that going for you if you want to try doing, like, an, a 1 or 2 a.m. stream. If that fits for you, obviously, that's not ideal for many reasons. 1 p.m. right now. Oh, yeah, so you're... Yeah, you're almost, like, like you're 7 hours behind. Or possibly 13 ahead. That makes sense. Yeah, like, doing an evening is hard, because if, if your internet's like that, then it's going to fluctuate a lot. If you're getting that much internet, try doing, like, try doing, like, a 480p stream, like a 720 by 480 Then at least it's it's widescreen, and it'll fit the whole window properly. Do, like, a 480 and see how that goes for you. I would probably drop the bit rate down to, like, 1500. I don't know what you've been trying it at, but 1500 would probably be a good starting point, and then go from there. Um, just to see what you can get. Keep it to 30 FPS, just so you can try and maximize your your stream quality but yeah start with that see how that goes uh, for, as for audio quality like if you're using obs i 
would probably set to like 120 kilobit for the mic and all that. Just to try and like just maximize your bandwidth more than anything. Oh, your head. Okay, yeah, makes sense. I've been doing YouTube videos because it's much easier. Yeah, because yeah, you can record and then you can just upload. So that makes more sense. I did a lot of YouTube for that reason as well. All right, where is Half Life? It is installed. So we'll just switch over to that. I've been doing YouTube, but I don't have any ideas. Hmm, what kind of YouTube videos do you do? Like Let's Plays or just uh, kind of highlights from streams perhaps or just random gameplay stuff or other things that aren't game related maybe? I'm just gonna switch over to you, do, 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 full screen. I don't know where we feel like, makes sense. That's kind of what I do on my channel. I had a hard time trying to get Let's Plays going because I wasn't very good at it at the time. Mostly skits. Oh, that sounds fun. I like skit, YouTube skit videos. They're always, I find them really funny. It's, it's some fun watching like the really funny ones or like sometimes the really creative ones. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for, oh, install. I want to play. I have to play it first. I mostly do YouTube myself because I always found the editing fun. I'm kind of disappointed I'm not doing as much like over the top editing as I once did. So basically the opposite of mine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of why I thought about my videos at first too. It's like I, w I made my early videos like I made a big deal out of like doing self-deprecation on all my stuff. It's like and it was fine. Um, like to make up, I always found like tried to find ways to make up for my lack of commentary. So I, I had like a text because I always think of jokes and stuff to say after the fact. So it's why one of the reasons why I did a lot of editing was because then I could add text and stuff to like make up for my lack of improv humor. But honestly, if you just like keep going at it, it'll just come. Like at least it did for me. Maybe some people it's different, but you know you just keep doing it and you kind of start thinking of those those jokes you thought of afterwards, you'll start thinking of more on the fly or before you, you write your script, in your case maybe, if you're doing scripted stuff. At least you have that advantage going for you. You can probably write a script first if you want. Uh, where's my... Where's Half-Life? Oh, there's Half-Life. Ooh, interesting screen. Oh, can that... Does that show? It did show. Sick. Why is it showing there? Do you have a good phone? Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy S7, so it's, I guess, aging a little bit as far as technology is probably concerned. Game capture. Oh, that's because I was on the wrong window. Ha, ha, ha. That's opposing for us. I want blue shift. Audio is working. Um, I think it has, like, I don't know what its megapixel count is. It just does 2400 by some other number resolution using this thing called Camdroid. Oh, is that to, like, do, like, because you didn't, to, like, make up for, like, the webcam kind of idea? Or, do, like, that's just how you record all your stuff? I guess this works. Yeah, it's working. Okay, let me just close Aver Media because you don't need that anymore. You install on your phone and PC to use your camera and mic on the phone. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. I've never really tried. The only time I use my phone to record stuff is like, so I would I have this like green piece of cloth. It's really dirty. I don't really have like any good place to hang it from, but I use it as like the worst green screen imaginable. And I would use my phone to record that but I wouldn't use the video because the video was like pretty much useless to do any sort of uh, chroma keying so what I basically ended up doing is I did a lot of like sprites I made sprites of myself and used that in my videos and it worked well for that but I'd like to get a real especially now they have this proper camera I'd like to get a real green screen before I do my next green screen project but yeah I would use it I would use it for that for sure Yeah, that for my when I did before I shortly before I got my webcam, I would use my laptop. So basically, I'd run my capture card for my computer through my laptop, use the webcam on the laptop, and just capture that in full screen. <laughs> it was really jank. It was super messy to do. I probably fortunately only did like three streams of it before my webcam came in the mail. 
which is great <laughs> because uh, boy, it was a nice not having to do that anymore. Lug my laptop up and down stairs. But that was my camera for live streaming for a little while. I never thought of trying to do the uh, the phone thing. That probably would have worked a lot better. I probably would have enjoyed that a lot more. Why would the alternate be WS8? That's weird. Okay, what we got here? Space, jump. Duck should be shift because I don't think there's a sprint button. Mouse one, mouse two, reload, flashlight. Everything else is pretty much your standard stuff. 1080 widescreen. Oh, is it using my settings from the other Half-Life? It might be. Almost. Let's make everyone nauseous by setting it to 8 sensitivity, because that's what I like. Mouse look. Auto aim should be off. Why would that be on? That's interesting. All right, new game. What capture card do you have? I'm thinking about game with my B-Day in a month or two. I have... Let me just read off the side of it before we get going here. Uh, da -da -da, Aver Media something. I don't know, actually, which one it was. I don't have the box handy. Unless it's... No, it's not over there. It is some sort of Aver Media. It is a built-in. It's like an internal capture card, so you plug it into a PCI slot on your motherboard. And I think it cost... Just a little over $100. Uh, it's maybe a year and a bit old by now, so you probably could get a newer version. Uh, let's start with the training room. See what that's like. I should really go back and do the training room in, in Half-Life 1 just to see what that looks like. Because each one seems to be different. Welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard course for security guard training. I'll he be looks your holographic guide excited. To assist you in your training. He's not even looking at Begin the camera. by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Whenever you see one of these buttons, press it, and I'll repeat instructions. Oh God, or that's show you weird. It, it like snaps my camera back to straight ahead. Wait, is it always doing this? Uh oh. That's a problem. I can't look behind me. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can use an internal one, but I think I'd get an external. So the one thing I found out with external ones is that the nice thing about internal. You got a good house trick? All right, sounds good. Um, the nice thing about internal is that they don't have any lag. They have a nice feed through, and you don't have to worry about visual lag. Uh, externals are cheaper, but you do sometimes get a little lag. Well, have fun doing housework <laughs> on this nice Easter Monday. Or actually, if you're ahead, I guess it's Tuesday for you, would it not be? That would, yeah, that makes sense. It's probably Tuesday for you. So Easter Monday would have been yesterday. Hopefully you enjoyed that in the state of things but have a good day and uh yeah thanks for coming by tonight slash this afternoon yeah tuesday yeah i guess it would be tuesday for you have fun doing whatever housework you need to go do see ya later i need to figure out why my mouse is being stupid and not working most look most will look around interesting open gl right is it because this is on Uh huh. Well, that is just the darndest thing. What would be causing this? Let me restart the game. Find out why it's doing that. I like that background. It kind of reminds me of like those now coming soon to video and DVD transitions. It would have like all all the Disney movies. 20 years ago. Okay, let's see if this fixes. What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. That didn't happen on an opposing force. I don't know if that's just like... Let me actually look this up. Half-Life, Blue Shift, Mouse... Mouse Glitch. First result. Wow. Okay, this is obviously a problem then. I guess it's a blue shift problem? Raw mouse. Okay. I mean, I probably should have raw mouse enabled anyways. Where is that? Mouse? Joystick look. Raw mouse input? Ah! That fixed it. Okay, good. Crisis averted. Whew, thank goodness. Okay. Let's go check out this training course. I'm 
I'll do you want I'll quickly do the before we get into the rest of Blue Shift. I'll quickly go do the uh, the hazard course for Half Life Welcome One. To the Black Mesa hazard course for security guard training. I'll be your holographic guide yeah, yeah, yeah. to assist you in your training. Begin by putting on your vest and helmet. You'll find this equipment in the next room. Okay. Whenever you see one of these buttons, okay, Mr. Not Barney. And I'll repeat instructions or show you how things are done. Yeah, no thanks, Mr. Owl. I think I'm good on, on the repeat. Here you will find your standard armor Whoa. vest and helmet. These will help protect you against any physical threat you may encounter while performing your duties. When your armor becomes too damaged to be useful, oh. you'll need to find a fresh vest or helmet to protect yourself. <laughs> the echo. Moving right. around in your armor may be a little tricky at first. Take a moment to get a feel for moving around. You know, they, they seem to really like repurposing rooms section, in uh, in Black Mesa. Like, you got a whole sewer down here. This is supposed to be a training course for security guards, and yet you got an entire sewer system right below you at all times. Can we, like, jump this? Probably not. I'm not going to try. I don't want to die during the tutorial. That'd be pretty embarrassing. The first move you'll need to practice is jumping. Good work. Why are scientists overseeing this? Shouldn't security guys be overseeing this? When you crawl in a crouched position, you can move very fast. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Come on to the next area. Now, try combining moves. Oh, okay. Now we gotta jump and crouch. Wow, so complicated. This isn't anything like the opposing force. The opposing force tutorial was pretty great, actually. Ooh, duck jumps. Wow, that's like an actually recorded feature. That's kind of cool. That's like a staple of the engine. I didn't actually realize it was something that everyone knew about. I kind of just did them and didn't really think that they were necessary. Just something that I did because I thought it was faster. Okay. Now we actually got to do some real platforming. There we go. Now, what I'd really like them to teach me is how to bunny hop. Ah. Can I heal now? Thank you. Well, this definitely isn't like opposing force. They're not shooting at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This definitely was not as interesting as the opposing force. I was expecting more from this training course. Can we go? You may also find HEV charging stations such as this one throughout the facility. These stations, however, can only be used by qualified science personnel wearing powered hazardous environment. Oh, we don't get those? So they will be inaccessible to you during your duties. What? How am I supposed to get armor? Oh no. This is going to be interesting. Well, it should be an interesting mechanic. I'm kind of worried about how I'm supposed to get armor, but I guess we'll find out. To spin that bridge, oh god, the control wheel ah. and press the use key. Thank you for the health. That was really stupid of me. Okay, there we go. Good enough. Great job. Speed run this shit. Sometimes you'll need to rely on quick reflexes to get around. Try jumping this gap on your own. Really need to do is push the box oh, yeah. down into Okay, well I was trying to do some cool speed running tricks, alright? Don't mind me. If you can't push an obstacle out of the way, you might try pulling it. Wait, what? To pull a box, move up to it and Could you have done that in Half-Life? Maybe if I played the tutorial for Half-Life, I would have known this. That's what I get for skipping the tutorial, I guess. Right. Need to use your flashlight for the next area. Do I though? Do I though? Okay, yeah, actually, I guess I do for you guys. <laughs> so my monitor that I play games on is like so bright, any sort of darkness 
challenge that they put in 3D games at least. The lighting's always way too bright, and I can easily see. I keep forgetting though that uh, the stream is a lot darker. When the flashlight is and off. I don't think there's any way for me to turn the gamma up on here. I could probably turn the gamma up in... Oh, I can... Oh. I can actually kind of crank the gamma up a little bit. It's kind of high already. Maybe we'll do that for your sake. I don't know what the difference between brightness and gamma is. Whoa! Oh, okay. Did that ruin the stream? It might have broke the capture. Let me just fix that. Oh, there we go. Are we good? Are we good? Okay, I don't know how bright that's going to make things. It's kind of weird. Like, it's really bright in OBS, but then I'm looking at the actual stream, and it's a little darker. Let's see what that looks like on stream. I'm just kind of curious. Welcome to the Black Mesa training target range. You'll get a chance to fire your weapon, reload, and fire the attached grenade launcher. Collect your equipment and proceed to the firing station. I don't remember Barney having an assault rifle. He has had a pistol. Yeah, that looks a little more... Well, uh, it's still kind of dark. Let me see if I can brain it up just a tiny bit more in-game here. I'd rather do that than screw around with the... Apply. Oh. Shit. Broke everything again. Are we good? Uh oh Alright, I gotta get recaptured again. I'd rather do that than try and screw with the settings in OBS, because I might mess it up for some other game later on. Alright, let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, let's just see what that looks like on stream. Yeah, it's still kind of dark, but... I don't know. Flashlight doesn't really do anything in this room. You'll need to hit every target to complete the course. Alright. If you miss, don't worry. I'm just gonna turn this game oops, down a little more, because Half-Life gets really loud with its guns. About it. The targets will keep moving until you manage to score a hit. If you want... If I want what? Uh... Can I, can I, can I shoot targets to fire at? fire the grenade launcher, use the alternate fire button. Targets can only be destroyed by lobbing grenades. Okay. Can, can I'll I... will start the sequence in five, four, three, two, one. I don't... Am I shooting it right? I don't know if I'm shooting it right. Gotcha. Oh, get back here. Who's next? Excellent. All right, what's next? Your heads-up display will let you know when oxygen becomes critical. Oh. That means you'll need wow. to find some This vest is better than the HEV suit. The HEV suit does not tell you this. Actually, if this tells you as well, I'm not really seeing. From holding your breath too long, once you've made it to the surface for air, go ahead and swim on to the next section. I would have to go this way. Shit. Okay. Yeah, where's my oxygen? It says it's gonna tell me my auction, but I'm not seeing a thing. That's odd. Any secrets? Probably not. Yeah, it's it's looking. Uh, yeah, it's like really dark. I don't know. Colors, I guess, are just more true than on my monitor. It's definitely just my monitor that's making things bright, so I shouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, we know about that. Whoa, explosions. Oh god. Oh god, don't fall into the radiation. Please proceed to the next section. I guess it makes sense that even a simple security guard vest would have access to a Geiger counter, considering where they're doing stuff. Entering the civilian area. Weapons are just magically removed. This is not opposing force in quality for sure. He will open yes, the door I will follow you if you wish. Hey, open this door. Why wouldn't security guards have access to this stuff? It's security. I'm supposed to go in here. Why does he have to open it? Access that makes no sense. Also, is he like 
It looked like he was like leaning over slightly, he was not standing straight. He's doing like a Michael Jackson pose. Oh no, is there trains? Choo choo. Well, we'll just sit here. Always crouch because you never know when there's oncoming gunfire. Well, that was quick. Alright then. Uh, okay, let's do a new game. Let's do medium because medium got pretty hard on an uh, opposing force. I don't know if I was playing on hard. This automated train is providing Run! You'll be late! I don't know if I was playing on hard in Half-Life, but yeah, I'm not doing that again, if I was. The time is it's a different voice than the train in Half-Life. Yeah, I think just some of these areas are just going to be dark, regardless. I'll try to use my flashlight as much as possible. I never really noticed how dark it actually got. But I remember when I was playing Minecraft that, like, even with all the brightnesses all cranked up, using torches sometimes, it was still really dark at any significant distance, so. Yo! They got arcade games? That's sick. That's fine. We'll just have to live with it, I guess. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled passengers should be evacuated first. Please stay away from What happens if the train just like stops on the middle of a track over like one of these huge drop-offs? Like how are you supposed to evacuate out of this? Is there like your intended destination is a high security area. Is there like a secret ladder somewhere in here? How are the the uh, disabled people supposed to get out in that case? Where are they going to go? Tony's Pizza? Tacos? Oh man, Black Mesa sounds like an awesome place to work. I want some of that. Actually, I had some pizza for lunch today, so I'm not too upset. Oh, seriously? Pedestrians get right away? What is this shit? I'll be late for work. You don't look like you're in any hurry. I should get to class first. I'm a security guard after all. I'm more important. They wouldn't get to do their job if I didn't wasn't here. Look at that important science stuff. Like those telephones. Very science-y telephones. Oh, is this where I'm getting off? Security checkpoint area 9? Calhoun, looks like we're in for a long day today. Have a good one, Calhoun. Wait, what? No, I, I want to go up there. This what? Subject: B. Calhoun. Two years, Martinson College, undecided major, and yet he's a security guard. Barney Calhoun, lab cop. Where's my segue? Actually, that guy looked like he should be riding a Segway. No, he he looked like like lab cop. So we're supposed to take care of everything in case something really goes bad. Welfare of research personnel. Personal safety is low priority. We're just supposed to run into danger. I guess they are more important than us. All right. Well, I guess that's just how it be. Wait, aren't I the one that greets Gordon? Is that where I'm going right now? Insecurity. God, imagine if I just fell off right here. Actually, could that happen? What's my quick save? I need to make sure. It's set to the keys. I think it is. I didn't do that earlier. Quick save is six. If I, can I just fall off? Why does I fall off? Oh, you can't fall off. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I have to be able to go through the store. There's Hold literally no else. The door's not responding to your pass ID. Oh. Let me see if I can get it open on this side. Well, hurry up. The next train's coming. 
Wait, that's Gordon Freeman. Oh my gosh. This is why I was standing here doing nothing. Holy shit. Oh man, this is going to be okay. sick. I think I got it. Oh man. Sorry about that, Calhoun. We've been having problems all over the facility this morning. System crashes, security Success. malfunctions. Success. It's a wonder this whole place hasn't shut down yet. <laughs> yeah, really, I know, right? Yeah, that would sure be a shame, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Hey, catch me later. I'll buy you a beer. Calhoun, you know you can't go on duty without your sidearm and uniform. Oh, right. Duh. <laughs> yes. It's just a joke. Just testing. Don't worry. Where's my sidearm and uniform? Ooh, chips. Can I have some chips? I guess I don't have any money. Can't get some pop. I can get pop, though. Hell yeah. What kind of pop is that, even? We got juice and pop right next to each other. Usually they're in the same machine, but not here. You get lots of choices at Black Mesa. Nice of you to show up this morning, Calhoun. Excuse yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, I know. Problems with the access system. Hope you're ready for a long shift. I can't access my files. I can't answer my mail. I haven't even been able to get into my office. Does he look like an I IT know, personnel? Sir, I know. We're doing everything we can to get the problem under control. Just give us some time to... Time? I don't have any more time. If I'm not able to get my report to the administrator in the next hour, then my <laughs> job will be in serious jeopardy. Have you handed in your administration report today? Yeah, I'm sure yours will be the only one. Armory, video surveillance, that's where we're going. We need to get our stuff together. Alright. Well, this may not have the, the polish and uniqueness of opposing force, but I'm I'm already liking this plot. And where this is going. Armory, let's go to the armory first. We gotta get suited up for work. Who knows what could happen today? I'm sure everything will go just fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Yo, can I have my gun? How's it going? Can I have my gun, please? Here you go, Calhoun. Wait, what? I, I thought know you're not on the schedule for a couple more days, but if you want to squeeze in a few shots in the range, there's plenty of room. But the training said I was supposed to get an assault rifle with grenade launcher. What is this? All right, well let's let's see if we can get some shots in. Whoa, rapid fire. those headshots. Hell yeah. Okay. What if I shoot him? Oh. <laughs> I wasn't actually expecting that. You How's die again and game over. Well shit. Alright. I guess I'll be more go, careful. Calhoun. I know you're not on the schedule for a couple more. Alright, let's let's not waste if bullets on a training in the, in the shooting range. Okay, so we got our gun. I don't think we got... Did we get our armor? I guess we technically did. Let's go to video surveillance. That seems like it could be an important place to go. I don't know. Let's go check it out. Make sure everything's going smoothly. Yep, that sector looks clear. Mm-hmm. Nothing suspicious there. All good. All right, good. Glad we got Jack checked out. Is there any, there's nothing we actually have to press here, right? No. No. It's just a bunch of computers and stuff. I'm a security guard. I'm not supposed to be good with computers. Open door. Open. Wait, what? I went this way. No, let me through. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. The elevator. Alright, so if we're supposed to go th follow the plot of Half-Life, then that means I should be going to go let Gordon Freeman off his train. I'm pretty sure. Was it this way? Personnel facilities. I think this is where we're going, actually. Oh, this is just the bathroom. Hey, how's it going? Are you doing your, your morning exercise? Oh, you're just tying your shoes. Okay, okay. I guess we should hit the showers. Well, all suited up with a gun. Out of order. Oof. Well, I don't know whose job it is to get that fixed up, but at least they have toilet paper. That's important. Just in case you forgot what country you're in.
Now, where are we going? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Okay, I got suited up. Where am I going next? Also, wouldn't it be more comfortable if you, like, turned your chair? Um, not like that. That's not what I meant. Okay, never mind. Whatever, whatever is more comfortable for you. Okay, where are we going next? We went to Area 3 Security, Refreshments, HE Particle Labs. Oh, that's where I was. Right, okay. Let's go to the Particle Labs, I guess. I'm all suited up now. Calhoun, you know you can't go on duty without your sidearm and uniform. What? But... I've got a sidearm. Show past the... I, what, what, what's this then? I've got a gun! I have gun. I can shoot gun. You know you can't go on duty without your side what? And uniform. Excuse me? Are you blind? I have guns. Oh, did, did, did I screw up somewhere? Okay, let's... Maybe I do have to go take some shots at the training facility. Not personnel. We don't need to go to the bathroom. We need to go to... Where is this? This is Video Surveillance Armory. Let's go to the armory again. Okay, I guess we do have to take some shots. Let's not shoot anyone in the face. That's a terrible idea. Uh, okay, I collected the ammo in there. Let's just kill the ammo too, because we can. This guy's not even shooting, he's just trying to eat his donut. Get out of here, if you're not using the facilities correctly, leave. Seriously. What am I doing wrong? I got my gun. Okay, I took a few shots. I got, took all the ammo. I'd like to leave now. Okay. Where am I going next? Because I'm supposed to go through those doors. But he apparently can't see the gun that's staring him in the face. I'm literally aiming at his hand, and he can't see it. I'm a little busy right now, Calhoun. What if we go this way? What is this way? This is up. This is where we need to go, right? Has to be. I don't know where else we can go. I got my gun. Shouldn't you be on duty by now? Yeah, shouldn't Calhoun. I be? You know you can't go on duty without your sidearm and uniform. Oh my god, is something broken? Did I break it already? I mean, the mouse is already broken, so that's a start. Ugh. Okay, let's see if I can find. Maybe there's a guide on Steam we can just use. For convenience sake. All blue shift maps. Do, 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 do. Walkthrough. Excellent. Oh, it's a video walkthrough. It's not even in order. Okay, never mind. Let's look at game facts. That seems to be the place to go for this sort of thing. Half-Life Blue Shift. I need to actually know if it's been glitched or something. Or if I'm just stupid. Insecurity. Getting in the door. After you, your tram car parks, leave the car, pressing up against the door. No, I did that. Game ready for duty. Go forward, turn left. Go down some stairs, go through some doors. Talk to hallway. Uh, da, 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 da. You can now push up against your locker door to open and see what's in. Oh, I'm supposed to go to my locker. But I. See, I was under the impression I was already suited up, but you went know fair enough. I did probably need to go to my locker. I'm just dumb. Okay, let's go to my locker. Where is that? Refreshments, Park Labs. We want to go to... Down here. Ah, who cares? God, what are you doing? <laughs> Taking shortcuts. I got a job to do. A security guard need to be ready to do anything, after all. Okay, where is my thing? Pobst. Hood. Vivarit. Lombardi. Falco? 
Phillips, Koi, Koi, Troc, Jones, Polly. What a weird name. Bayer, O'Connor. That's a normal name. Bass, Faze, Casello, Calhoun. Oh, there's my suit. Oh yeah, you know the suit I already had on because I had armor. That's kind of weird. Done. You know what? I'm done with this mission. Let's get to work. Uh oh, now what? Looks like some people are having problems with the main access lift in Sector G. Ugh. Why don't you go over there and see what you can do? All right. Let's see if I can actually go over there now. All right. You gonna block Have me again? A good one, Calhoun. Okay. What's that kid's name in in North Korea time that blocks you until you get the sword and shield? That's basically him. security guards always insist on bothering us wow you think you're so much better than us <laughs> oh are we at t technicians as well uh -huh. All right. how many people does it take to fix a computer three apparently you know at my job we fix our own computers for the most part you're waiting for the train to Sector G, then you're probably better off walking it. I overheard someone say that all the trams on this end of the facility are having problems. Well, apparently it's my job to go fix it. That's not a good sound. That's not the kind of sound I want to hear first thing in the morning. Explosions. Okay, so we can barely pull things. Wow! That is, what a pull. Holy shit. Okay, we can open those doors. High voltage. All right. Wow, it's actually dark for me too now. Even though I have the brightness still turned all the way up. Holy shit! Look at him just kicking it. That's crazy. All right. Well, everything seems to be in normal working order here. Why well, can't open this? Oh. Well, the trams seem to be fine, so I guess my job here is done. All right, let's just go. Oh. Okay. Wait, why did he get the right of way? This is bullshit. I had to wait for the scientist. But no, G-Man gets to ride all the way through on his personal tram. Also, it's kind of weird these trams only ever have one person on them at a time. You'd think they'd be more crowded first thing in the morning, what with everyone trying to get to work and all. Sector G main access lift. That's kind of where we want to go. Well, let's see what this is. Tram routes, red line. Level 3 dormitories, hydroelectric, security freight yard, test labs, coolant reserve. I'm trying to see how many of these places we might have gone to in the other two games. Main facility entrance, biodome complex. Oh, yeah, we went there in the last game. Recreational facilities, training facility. Oh, that's where all the training probably takes place. Except, you know, the last one. Sector D administration, high altitude launch center, and the Lambda complex, way at the end over there. High altitude launch center, what, they got a space program too? Cool, I wonder if we'll get to go there. I feel like a lot of that's foreshadowing. Well, oh, hey. Well, about time. We don't pay you people to mosey around at your own convenience. Oh. Make this thing work so we can get on with this miserable day. Let's see. All I did was press the button to go to the next floor. You know, for a bunch of scientists, you're really dumb. Just saying. You know, it's like a half a mind, you know, it's right there. It's probably those anomalous materials people again. Always pushing their equipment too hard. Gambling in who knows what. I'd be surprised if there's one good brain among them. Wow, I don't think all those people would like you saying that. You know, it's not nice to call people stupid. That's, that's really mean. I mean, I would never do that, right? Man, this elevator is kind of a little rickety. We should get it replaced. We should call someone to fix it. Why is there never a repairman when you need it? My goodness, it's 
Whoops. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll make it. Look, see? Everything's fine. See? Totally fine. We stopped safely. Nothing's wrong here. That person's just getting attacked. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing to worry about. Well, I guess it's beginning now. How do we get out of here? Or am I just... Whoa! Holy shit, that looked fun. Dangerous, but fun. Again, can we move now? Am I stuck in here? I think I got stuck. Oh, okay, good. We're moving again. That was an issue in uh, Opposing Force. So you'd get stuck on elevators. Oh, well, that's the end of that, I guess. Duty Calls. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? At least we get a gun to start. Where'd the other one go? Okay, good. Well, I picked up all that ammo from the shooting gallery. Oh, more ammo. Good. Wow, all these cardboard boxes. I guess we're playing Minecraft now. Wait, what is this? Disconnect power before attempting maintenance. Alright, well, I think the power's been safely disconnected, so let's attempt some maintenance. Uh, that was probably a dumb idea, actually. Ooh, what's on the CD? Oh, I didn't get to see. Was that fish? That was a fish. Alright, well, you know what? You guys can see just about as much as I can, so don't worry. Ah, uh, okay. Well, this way. I might be able to see slightly more, so you, you might just have to trust me on some of these parts. Especially with the flashlight running out all the time. Oh, head grabs. Come on. Kill you. Okay, what can we do here? Probably nothing. Can't open that. Can we walk across somehow? Maybe? I don't really want to step on this. It seems dangerous. I'm not really sure why. Is it electrified or is it just toxic? It might just be toxic. Well, if I jump on these, is that going to help in any way? No, nah, not really. Okay. Well, forget that. Let's just go through this door, perhaps. That worked. Whoa, I saw you there. Ah, get back here. Alright, upstairs. Yo, how did you get up here? How did you get through the power lock? Well, it doesn't matter. The only other way out of here is through the canal. If you do make it to the surface, don't tell anyone I'm down here. I think they're trying to kill us all. Now get out of here. The canal is where you want to be. Okay, first of all, why does everyone know my name specifically? Maybe it's on my name tag, actually. Never mind. I don't want them to hear us. If you want to escape, go through the canal. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Also, why does his flashlight get to last more than five seconds? I want his flashlight. How do we get through here? Where are we going? Up here? Down here? Over here? Over here. Whoa, not down there. We were down there already. Do we want to go over there? Are these buttons or lights? Probably lights. Canal. There's got to be some way I can go through here. Why else would I have gone up here? This doesn't make any sense. Oof. Okay. This is where I went. And just goes up there. So is there another place I can go then? That I'm not aware of? This isn't magically open? Can I blow it up? Maybe that's what I have to do. Those do look like explosives. I can't actually shoot them. Oh, can I shoot them from above? Oh, that's probably what it is. Alright, good puzzle, good puzzle. Shoot the explosive barrels. You just have to figure out how. Boom.
Yeah, let's not go that way. That seems like a terrible idea. We can go this way. Ooh, okay. That was a delay. Caution. Yeah, don't fall off of here. North Tunnel. Well, we can't go through there. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Okay, we can't go north, but we can go south. I wonder if there's any new enemies in this expansion. Dead, dead, okay. Does he have ammo? Oh, his armor. Oh, I'm supposed to take everyone else's armor. So I guess he's just walking around with like 10 helmets stacked on top of each other. That makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense. I don't know how that's supposed to actually improve your armor, but whatever. Okay, what are we doing here? We are, I guess, making this possible to jump on top of? Like that, maybe? Let's try that. This should... Oh, that does not work. Needs to be a little higher. Little higher. Oh, that's probably too high. Shoot. Okay. Try that. No! Ugh. Thank goodness I saved. Oh, that seems to be higher. Okay, okay, okay. This one needs to be a little higher. How about there? Let's try there. Let me move this over a bit, actually. Yikes. It's so slippery all the time. Excuse me? Ugh, we'll have to move it down again because then save. Okay, let's try this. This has to work. Please. Oh, god damn it. Whoops, I do need to crouch jump. Alright, let's see if we can make this jump now. Yes! Okay, good. Good, good, good. That was a unnerving noise. What just happened? Oh shit. Where is he? Okay, good. Where is he? Come on, come back here. That's pretty loud. Okay, now which is the right way? The door? Or... the door? I think the door is the right way here. Probably don't want to go into sewage. Seems like a really terrible idea. What'd that do? Yeah, I don't think that door's gonna be working anytime soon. That just turned on the steam. I can't turn it off now. Oh, hey, sick. I love how it just teases you with the inability to get armor. Can't use that. It looks like a gas can tank. Like, it's got, like, the gas nozzle on it. Now, what's that do? I don't even know where this is. I haven't been here yet. It's probably out here, wherever it is. 
Oh, unless I have to go down here. Shoot. That's still locked. Did that turn anything on or off? I don't know. So far, I'm just doing the things that seem likely. Wow, where did a scientist get a shotgun? That's pretty sick. I don't think we can get up there, though. Drainage canal exit. Do we have to flood everything, maybe? Hmm. Okay, this is green. Oh, this is off now. Okay, good. Oh shit, do they see me? There's no way. Can I just jump through here? Oh, I can! Whoa! Okay. That makes sense, I guess. Off. Uh, I don't think I want to go through there. <laughs> Waste crushing and disposal. Ten feet. Do I need this for something? Or am I just supposed to go this way? Maybe. Maybe? I guess that seems likely. Wasn't I here earlier? Yeah. That's that. Oh, Alright, this is where that was. We went through this door. There's nothing in here. What am I doing? This is just going backwards. I don't think I want to do that. Waste crushing and disposal. 50 feet. Do I want to go through there? Well, at least we know the water's safe. I guess, but... Problem is, I'm not really sure what we're doing with it. Because, like, you can go through here, sure. This elevator is not on, though. Ow. Nice shot. Off. I can't turn it on. Do I need a box on there? I probably do. Can't even get a box up there? No. That's just gonna crush me, I think. Yep. Oh yeah, no, that's just a kill zone. What am I doing with this box? I can just yeet it towards me, but that's about it. Oh god, let's not get crushed. Nah, I get stuck there. I can't... I have to do something with this box. But what? Unless I need to, like, keep it underneath and just wait for another. Does that even work? Am I gonna get another box? I think it, it waits until it's crushed, so... I can only get one box at a time. Oh no, I get two. I can get two. We can have two boxes. Wow, is your mom let you have two boxes? Okay. I'm gonna see if I can just, like, catch a box. Can we, like, have another box, please? How did I get another box before? Huh. This can't be it. This can't be a solution to this. Okay, I have to jump up this. But I can't get the box up here, so what are we doing? What if I break the box? Nothing. Alright, so this isn't the answer, I don't think. The answer is probably somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. I, I might look it up, but I'm going to see if I can figure it out still. The only thing I can think of, but I don't think that's going to work, is if you can get a box over to here, I think. Where was it? That's locked. This is off. And go up there, but I don't think we can go up there, first of all. So that's not going to work. So we go up here. We turned on this lift. Oh, explosives! 
Are we supposed to do this again? I can't even blow that up. Wait, what if I shoot this? No, I'm just wasting ammo. And health, apparently. Okay, they're dead. Yeah, that box is just like, just out of range. So I'm not really sure what I can do here, because that box that's going down from here doesn't seem useful. What the hell am I doing? I'm going to look at the answer and I'm going to be just feel really stupid, I bet. Let's let's see if that if I'm if that works out. Let's see. How long is this game? I'm just curious to see how many sections there are. Duty calls. Well, we're already like a third of the way through, according to this scroll bar on the right. Three doors to get past. Okay. Did the cranes? Find the doorway that leads to a narrow concrete ledge between canals, and follow it along till you reach a walkway. Turn right, go through the nearby thing. Use the valve wheel. Did that. Check near the first for a bullet clip on the floor, then use the first aid station if you need to. Watch for a lift to lower in the area you can see through the window of the lift is three vortigaunts on it. Yep, yeah, two of which will see you. Okay. After the first two vorts are dead, move back. Right, okay, jumping over then climb up the ladder that leads to the platform where you entered. Go back to the walkway across the two canals and head over to its other end. Use the flashlight to find a ladder in a dark corner. What? Jump over the railing to get to it. Excuse me? There was a ladder in the corner over here. How did I miss that? See? Told you. You'll feel real stupid. Apparently there's a ladder down here. Oh, wait, no. It's, uh, it's, it's back here. We have to jump into the water. And follow it back up. Right over here. In a dark corner. There's a ladder. Oh, not there, not there. Let's go up here first. There's a ladder here. What? What does this do? Why would I do this? Oh my god, what is this? I did miss this. How did I miss this? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, what is this? Oh no. Okay. I don't think I want to use those. I don't oh, I can go this way, though. Okay. I don't think I can break that one. We can go through here. Flow control. Why is the flow control inside where the flow would be? That seems a little counterintuitive. Especially since you'll just flood yourself if you turn on that valve. Yeah, this Black Mesa facility doesn't seem well designed. At least with Aperture, you know, they may have like some crazy endlessly deep uh, catwalks and everything, but at least it all makes sense, you know? There is a ground to it eventually. Here it's just like, oh yeah, you want to turn on the flow to the sewers? You gotta go and dump yourself into the sewers first. I bet you don't have to do that at Aperture. How am I getting out of here? Oh, like this. That makes sense. Anything in here? What did I get? Bullets? I guess just bullets. How much ammo we got? Nope. 
Wow. Okay. That was kind of unexpected. I didn't realize I was so low in health. Oh, shit. I can get through the door in time. It begins. Nothing else? Okay. Well, hopefully I can find some health packs or something, because this is going to get real bad real soon. Oh, see you later. Ow. Shit. Uh, man, every time I see one of these, I'm just getting flashbacks to all the stupid ropes that were in Opposing Force. All three of them, <laughs> I guess, but... Yeah, they weren't fun to climb. I heard you. Where were you? No, nope, there's nothing down there. Did, did, did he just commit suicide? And land on the black void? Or did they toss him over? I didn't quite see. So I know I'm supposed to be saving the scientists and all, but I think at this point self-preservation, that low priority that it mentioned earlier, I think that's the, uh, that's my top priority right now. Okay, there's health over there, I saw that. Let me see if there's any health in these. I learned my lesson not to neglect these boxes back in Half-Life 1, and they certainly proved useful in Opposing Force, so I'm gonna see if there's any use here. How much health can I get out of this? Alright, 40 health. That's pretty good. Oh, jeez. Okay. Probably only needed two shots. That's alright. Whoa, only need one shot for you. I heard you. Yeesh! Get back here. Okay, where are you at? I, I saw you. Where'd you run off to? Okay, two shots for them. That's fine. Whoa, 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 where's that sound coming from? Above me? Probably above me. Oh, it's you guys. Health, ammo, excellent. That's what I'd like to see. Is there something this way that I should know about? What did that do? I don't even know what that did. I just did it anyways. Ammo, please. That'd be nice. I think those are bullets for the pistol. And that's it. Okay, that's fine. Let's see where this elevator goes. I think we're making some really good progress on here. Something tells me we're definitely finishing this in one night. I don't know what time it is. But I think we have a good chance here. Yeah, I've only been live for like almost three hours, so... Lots of time to do this. Oh, here we are. We're back here. Okay. Things are starting to come together then. Should I probably, like, blow up those explosives now so I don't have to worry about them? Or are they those special silver explosives that are gonna kill me everywhere? Or should I just, like... Ooh, should I put them into here? Maybe that's what the boxes were hinting at shove. Let's see how this works out. What happens when you cross crush a box of explosives? Hmm. Yep, I think that did what we wanted. What's down here? I guess in case you fall, in case you come over here without putting down the lift. That's what my guess is. Oh yeah, nope, I definitely don't think we're getting crushed anymore. 
Ooh, is that outside already? Oh, so this is where you're supposed to end up in opposing force, so you're supposed to be tossing bodies down into the sewer. Well, I'm glad we crashed then. That doesn't sound very fun. It sounds kind of boring. Oh, we made it to the next chapter. What was that chapter name? I missed it. It'll probably say on here. Captive Freight. We're like almost halfway through the game. According to the scroll on this page. Damn, this game really is short. Holy shit. Ooh, gunfire. Train yard, freight warehouse, south exit. I don't think we're going to the south exit. That seems like a really bad idea. We'll just go this way instead. More dead security guards. Ooh, a revolver. Trying to do his job, driving scientists out of here. Good, good job. Okay, I guess we won't go that way. Can we go this way? Steam tunnel access. Well, oh, we have to hold it. Get down there. Oh, that was a little unexpected. Okay, that was kind of weird. Just wasting three shots. I came across someone mentioning that when I was looking how to fix the mouse. Wasn't really sure what he meant, but now I know. Did I just die falling down? I hope that's not like a reoccurring thing. Okay, I didn't die this time. High temperature steam pipes. Oh, yep, those are definitely high temperature. Do not touch the hot pipes. They are hot. These guys are just everywhere. Ooh. He seems okay, though. Pressure release valve. Do I want to just run through this? Maybe. It's fine. We'll be fine. Use some cold water. It's freeze to burn. Yeah, there. Okay. Constant saves. Oh yeah, one hit. That's right. The revolver is like super powerful. That's why I love it. But you don't get a lot of ammo for it, so I need to be careful. Can I go through here? That was probably a waste. No. Okay. Yep, let's switch to crowbar. Trying to preserve ammo. Oh, and also health. Preserving health is a good idea too. Okay, that's fine. We'll just shoot. Where's that third one? I saw a third. Where's that? It's gone. Elevator? Is it gonna work? Yes, it is. Warehouse basement. Wow, great shooting. Can I have some help? No. Okay.
Oh, another one. Oh god. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I dodged it. Wow. One shot from them. Man, I should have almost played on easy. Jeez. Oh well, there's constant save, so it's fine. Just disintegrated him, nice. Ooh. Where is he? I'm scared he's gonna like walk around the corner and take me out when I least expect it. I'm breaking boxes. Yep, there he is. Nothing. Ugh. Okay. Oof. Yeah, this pistol is doing some work. Wow, that was way too close. Should have probably done one fewer shots. Oh, well, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, you're not dead. In this timeline. Now you're dead. Nothing. Oh gosh. Okay, that. I'm gonna go this way first. This might be the right way to go. Oh, I see. They're in the boxes. It's punished. Oh god. Look at that. Oh no, he's just behind the box. Never mind. I don't even know if I can get through this. Maybe I should go turn it off first. Oh, damn it. Well, let's not go that way. You, oh, jeez. Oh, I forgot. I thought they were gonna jump. Oh, shit. Well, there we go. Out of ammo, finally. Can't even do the old spray and pray approach. Okay, finally making some progress there. Ugh, or not. Ammo, please? Anything at all? What the hell? I'm in like a storage warehouse and you're telling me there's no ammo down here? Shit. Okay. Nothing at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a health pack. Yes, good. At least that. I will take that. What, where'd you come from? No, if it hadn't been for that head crab, we would have had more health. Okay, well this is a dead end, I guess. I was looking for some sort of switch or valve to turn off the electricity, but I guess I'm just gonna have to try and dodge it, because I don't see anything over here. Okay, I hope we're done with these. It's gonna turn out just alright, what we got here? Does that, then does that. Alright, that was easy to dodge actually. Hi there.
Get back here. Yeah, you're running away from me? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Okay, what is this contraption wall? Is this nothing? Can I get up here? Oh, I see. That's why these boxes are indestructible. So I guess that is the gimmick in this one, is that you can pull boxes. Probably couldn't do that in Half-Life. Wow, what a gimmick. You can pull a box. Also, holy shit, do they move fast. Imagine if Link could pull boxes this quick. That'd be awesome. Alright, flashlight time. I didn't even see him there. It's like completely covered by the grate. I can't take another hit. That's a problem. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I knew it. That's the time that's just right. There we go. Man, I just got health back too, and I've already lost it all. What the hell? They can't jump that high. That's insane. Okay, I can't survive going down here. I'm gonna die. Okay, good. Whew. Can we have like some sort of checkpoint zone where I can get health back and ammo? Hmm. High temperature steam pipes. Okay, there's some armor. Are they gonna shoot at me? I feel like they're gonna shoot at me. Yeah, they're totally gonna shoot at me. Already meeting the army. Oh, damn it. He crouched. Oh, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ran the crotch, ran the crotch. Oh, did he kick me in the face? God damn it. Yeah. Got your friend's weapon now. Now what you gonna do? I appreciate your help, but I'm afraid those bastards did their damage already. <laughs> if you were trying to reach the freight yards and hold There's health right there for him. Just forget about it. Shh. The military is rounding up everyone and everything they can find, and either killing them or bringing them up here for questioning. A colleague and I came up with our own plan for escape, and we were on our way to one of the old prototype labs when we ran into them. But listen to me. If you still want to get out of here alive, your only hope may be to find my friend. <coughs> if you can get past the soldiers, find Dr. Rosenberg. With him, you may have a chance to get out of this place. You know, this office... Wow, this office kind of sucks. It's like concrete walls on all sides. Lockers. A lawn chair. Man, how are you supposed to get work done in this environment? Maintenance office. It's still. Hi there. Okay, that was probably not worth it. <sighs> I need more health, but there is no more health. Well, here we go. Going in on nothing. Looks like they're just renovating this place. Stairs. Excellent. No storage. Keep clear. Well, then what the hell is this? No one listens anymore. Who listens to instructions? I mean, come on. What do you think instructions are for? Should I go up more? Yard manager, storage room. Oh shit, he saw me. No, run! 
Uh oh. Well, I don't know if I should go further up or not. I kind of want to go up because I feel like there's stuff up there that could be useful. This is probably the correct way to go. So I'm going to go up. That's locked. Yeah, run. I got a gun. You're going to get shot in the crotch. Did you say grenade? No, I think we're okay. Yeah, run backwards. That'll help you. Face away from the enemy. Oh shit, no! My one weakness. A lack of ammo. Do you have anything? Oh shoot. Okay, there we go. Anything else up at the top here? Third floor. Freight records. Everything is locked. So this was all for nothing. And I was supposed to go this way the whole time. God damn it. Okay, that's fine. I like how I picked up that health, but I came out of it with five health once again. Yeah, I can't get through there. Oh yeah, just throw a grenade through the wall. Okay, well... I may or may not be screwed. Uh, just saying. I think I'm supposed to kill all of those guys. Oh, doesn't help them. I'm wasting ammo somehow. Shit. Where else can I go? There is nowhere else I can go. Is there ammo in here? Any of these? Or is health? Oh, there's lots of health. I'd like it if they started coming through the doors here, because then I could actually pick them off one by one. Come on. Come on. Good. That was worth it. <laughs> 50 health. Let's go. Oh, jeez! Okay, I got lots of ammo for this thing. I should be able to take them all out. Unless he does another grenade. Yeah, y'all take turns firing. Haha. <laughs> Come on, get in here. Get in here. Yeah, move in. Line yourselves up. That'll help you. Oh shit. Oh shit, I just saw that. I saw the grenade. What was that grenade? No, we're good. Okay. Okay, okay, we're good. <sighs> Lots of ammo. Is anyone still alive? I heard... That wasn't me. Okay, who was that? Where are you at? Oh, you're up there. Shit. Okay. Damn it. Okay, he's done. There's no one else here. Of course, I lost all my health yet again. Picked up all the ammo. Okay, we're good. Pick up this ammo. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about where that gunfire is coming from. So I'm probably going to get caught up in it at some point. I can't get through it, can I? No, I can't. Shoot. Where am I supposed to go? Was I supposed to go up here? I guess that's possible. Oh, this is... Seems very likely the right way to go here. What's this way? Just before we go that way, stairs. Oh, okay. I see. We're supposed to make our way up the building. Those are shortcuts. Okay, do you want? Fair enough. Still nothing in the trash cans after all this time. Is that ammo? Give me that. 
Ooh. Let's get this. 60 armor. Tons of ammo. Holy shit. Okay. Yes, this is worth it. Now, if I can only get some health. Oh, no. Okay. I see what we're getting into here. Ah, oh, damn it. One shot. Come on, get in here. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> he blew himself up. <laughs> yeah, like he just cowers in the corner while I'm shooting him. Fired from the grenade that just killed his friend. These guys aren't very smart. They use my tactics. Oh, that's why he ran away. That makes sense. Where'd he go? Oh. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Okay. Health? Anywhere? Is this safe? Parcel receiving. Is there anything... Was there a shipment of health in these parcels? That'd be nice. Looks like a couple. The flashlight doesn't really help, honestly. Alright, well that's about as good as it's gonna get, so let's just keep going. Oh, never mind. It can get better. Okay, explosives. How about this one side? Grenade? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to throw that. Why did it switch to it? Oh my god. Okay, full health, lots of ammo. Okay, we're back to where we should be. Is that a shipment of Coke? Importing goods in this loading dock, like Coca-Cola, and cup noodles, and also weird aliens I just heard. Where were those aliens at? Did they trap him in the train cars? What the hell? I don't know how to get you out. I'm sorry. Oh, that works. Oh, jeez. Are they, they good? Whoa, they were like frozen. Let's save the scientists. That is our high priority. Thank God you're here. No, I'm afraid I'm not Dr. Rosenberg. Okay, well, can you tell me where to find him? Oh, hi there. Oh, okay. We're going to another arena. Everyone get into position. The show's starting. Yeah, you keep running. You keep running. I don't know why you, you thought, felt the need to go up those stairs, but you do that. Well, I like how he took almost no damage from that. That's awesome. Anyone else? A machine gun? Ooh, I like how it's already set up too. That's nice. Can I use it to shoot these boxes? Cool. So wait, did Black Mesa order that? Or is the military using 
our train facilities for their own purposes. And how'd they get here so fast then? That tells me Black Mesa has probably ordered it, which Hello? makes me wonder me? why Black Mesa would order a 50 cal machine gun. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but I can't get in there. How do we get in there? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I'm trying. Hello? I don't can know how to get in there. Hear me? Can I pull these out of the way? Oh shit, that's probably a bad idea. Let's go the way of that before that rolls. Ooh, okay. Oh no, what's that gonna do? Oh, that's it, okay. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. I mean, I guess it's technically my in my job description, so yes. I'll be right behind you. I don't know if getting you to come with me is a good idea, but hey, you know, give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? I mean, you die. That could happen. But that would have happened in there anyways. You would have suffocated, or starved to death, or pissed yourself to death. You know, there's lots of ways to die in that box. Oh, hey, I can also use them as distractions and bait. I like that. I am a fan of that. I don't know who you're singling to. Your squad's dead. Or is there more? Oh, there's one more. Oh, where you at? Where you at? Where'd you come from? Get back there. I wonder if medium makes the AI stupid or something. Because these guys are running away way more than I thought they were in Half-Life in Opposing Force. Yeah, they, they're just a bunch of cowards. I don't remember them being so cowardly and opposing force. Okay, anything else? Or are we good? Scientist is dead, but he's not Dr. Rosenberg, so who cares? I guess we can go through this newly opened path. More fighting? Probably. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, I was not paying attention to my health. Oh, I was really not paying attention to my health. Yeah, run away from that grenade. Or not. How did he just one... He headshot me. That's a load of bullshit. I don't know who you're shooting at, but I'm over here. Whoa! Rocket launcher! Did I just die from my own... Rocket? Fire in the hole. Whoops. Whoops. I don't even know if I can shoot that thing. Probably can't.
Yeah, it takes forever for that thing to aim, and he can't aim down, so we're safe over here. See you later. Why would I go in here? There's no reason to go in there. There might be a reason to break this crate. Nope, there's not. Okay. I think that was an auto turret, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Well, this is certainly better than the uh, last train mission in Half-Life 1. Oh, those are rockets. I don't know if I should be playing with those, but I think something tells me I have to blow them up, so here goes nothing. Uh oh. Oh, there's propane tanks. That kind of makes sense. Can we get on there? I was just on here earlier. There we go. Alright, oh, I need to get through. Which means I have to take a direct line of fire, or the sight. They can shoot me. Yes, sir, they certainly can. Yep. Oh, they can definitely shoot me. How do we get up here? Besides crouch jumping. Okay, this works. Is that it? I think we're done. Yeah, my survival definitely depends on these boxes having anything useful inside of them. And keyboards and speakers and computer chips are definitely not useful. This health is, though. Can you have some more of that health, please? Come on, just a couple more would be nice. Anything at all, really. New Mexico Railroad Line access tunnel. They got direct access to the New Mexico trains. I mean, I guess these trains have to go somewhere. It does seem like a decent way to transport lots of freight, especially when you don't have to worry, won't have to worry about like trucks and stuff coming in. Of course, someone could always hijack the train. I mean, who would do that, right? Who would hijack a train full of sensitive, top-secret government materials? Okay, turntable controls. What are we going to do with this? We want... I don't even know what we want. Do these open at all? Is there anything inside of any of these? I mean, there's obviously nothing here, but maybe this one has something in it. No? Can't get in here? At all? No. That one has no doors on it. I'm not sure how they're going to open that one up. That's their problem, not mine. Well, New Mexico, we, we can just get out of here right here, no? Hello! I'm in here! Can anyone hear me? It's locked. Why is it locked? Can I push it? Yeah, I can hear you, but I can't get you oh, out. I can't get in here either. Hello? Oh, here we go. Alright, let's go in here, maybe? Okay, that's really loud. I'm getting out of there. Let's just drive the train back here. It'll be fine. See? No problem. Are you Dr. Rosenberg? What's the status on Freeman? Yes, oh, no. I'm Dr. Rosenberg. Although I'm not very proud to admit it, seeing as though I'm partially responsible for all of this. How did you know my name? 
Oh, I see. Poor Harold. Yes, our plan was to get to one of the old prototype labs. Didn't seem too distraught over that death. Few people in the facility Especially are since they're friends. To know about. The same technology that brought about this catastrophe could also be our only way out. You see, I was involved in the very early work on teleporter technology, long before the Lambda Complex was even built. There may be enough equipment in the old lab to piece together a device that would allow us to teleport outside of the facility. As improbable as that may sound to someone like yourself. Of course, none of that does a whole lot of good while we're stuck in here. Hmm. Perhaps I could help boost you through that vent in the ceiling. Ooh, yeah. If that sounds lucky, good, yeah. You might be able to take those soldiers by surprise. Let's try this. Hmm. Oh, that works. Okay, where are they at? Yeah, we did catch him by surprise. Oh, there you go. Doors open. You're free now. Of course, it's not safe yet, but you're free. Anything else over here we need to know about? No. Okay. So where are we going? All we right. Want... Now we'll need to head back to the area where you met Harold. The access to the old lab should still be there, but we may have to break through some of the newer construction to get to it. Okay, well, let's go then. All right. You won't even know I'm here. I hope not. Hopefully they won't know you're here, because I think I definitely need your help. Um. Oh, we can go through here now. I see. Stay here. Now there's no time to wait. Shh. Shut up. Oh. Hi there. Anything important here? No? Okay. Ooh. Wait. I can get this for health. I mean, it's slow, but it's health. Oh, okay, never mind. We're out. I drank all their juice. Yo, where did Rosenberg go? Lead the way, Calhoun. Yeah, please come. We need to get out of here. Where'd you go? Oh my gosh. You know, for a scientist, you're pretty unable to follow people. Come on. Look, I know you think you're better than me, but if you want us to both get out of here, you're gonna have to just follow me, okay? I'm the one with the weapons here. I do appreciate that he's at least staying a safe distance behind me. Wouldn't want to get cut out up in the, uh, the gunfire here, you know? Oh, we're back here. Excellent. Come on, where are you at? Please. Let's stick. Yes, let's stick together. So why'd you just stop as soon as you said that? All right. Let's hope we don't run into any more of those soldiers. Yes, let's hope. Especially since I already was through here and cleared most of it out. Oh my gosh, where are you at? I'll be right behind you. Yeah, well, come on then. Ugh. Wait up, Calhoun. I'm afraid I need to rest. Yes, we'll have a better chance if we... Hold on, Calhoun. I need to take a break. Well, where are you going? Let's hurry. There's no time to wait. I need to rest a bit before I can go on. What? Rest how? We're, we're here. 
This isn't this where you go? This is your friend right there. You can see him. What? Let's get going. Uh, slow down, Calhoun. I can't keep up at this pace. Yes, let's go. I don't know where else we're going. You say we have to break through construction. Did he mean here? Ah, okay. All right, let's go in the elevator. I'm sure it's perfectly safe. That's why they blocked it off. We should have chosen the Lambda reactor for an escape, but the crew there is bent on fighting the creatures. All their hopes set on someone named Freeman. Let hmm. those fools try and fight a battle they can't win. I just want to get out of here. I mean, it's kind of true. They weren't able to win, as we saw. Freeman went to their world and fought some baby fetus. Giant baby fetus. And then, what happened? Well, he got stuck. Or he works for the government now, I Let's guess. Go. Damn government taking all our jobs. All our nice scientist jobs. We can't get up there. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. Oh, security. Oh. Uh, the old security system is still active. With any luck, my fingerprint ID is still valid and on file. Isn't that what valid means? Whoa, this is old. Look at this stuff. Oh, they're still working down here. Dr. Rosen. Wait, what? Thank God you made it. But we've managed to It's like blocked off. How equipment, but you only do Was he stuck down here? Of the construction. Excellent, Walter. Finish aligning the power cell matrix and I'll see if I can get the system online in the main room. Now there's no time to waste. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to follow you still? I guess so. I don't know where else I'm going to go. I mean, there shouldn't be any problems down here. It's not like the soldiers even know this place exists, right? Yeah, looks like the equipment is in better shape than I expected. That looks like the reactor in the anomalous materials lab. Unfortunately, this older technology does not have the ability to target an Earth destination in its current state. What? You see, Mr. Calhoun, teleportation isn't as easy as going from point A to point B. We've discovered a strange border world that was somehow involved in the process, which kept us from accurately predicting where any given teleportation event would lead to back on Earth. So I'm supposed to go in this thing? You're crazy. Some of the more promising research on the matter led to a device that could be attached to the strange crystalline structures we found on this border world. Now this device could then be used as a focal point and a relay to aid in the teleportation. Well, in theory, that is. We lost contact with the survey group shortly after the device was in place. We later discovered other methods of aiming the field, but all of the equipment in this lab uses the older technology. In order for any of us to get out of here alive, someone will have to go to the border world and activate the device. All right. Sounds good. I'm afraid you're the only one who can do this, seeing as how everyone else will be needed to operate the equipment. Fair, fair. We should be able to get you fairly close to where the survey team had set up, but I fear the likelihood of running into alien creatures is very high. Once you find the device, simply power it on and align the emitters until the signal reaches maximum strength. We'll reopen the teleporter for your return once we receive the signal, but you must hurry back, as we can only keep it open for a short amount of time. Okay. All right. Is it ready? To initiate the teleporter charging sequence now. Be ready, Mr. Calhoun. Oh, I'm ready. If the is open, it will become unstable very quickly. All right. Well, I'm ready. I'm... Can you hear me? It's ready. Let's go. I'm ready. My job is to make sure all scientists are safe, and that is exactly what I plan to do. I'll turn on that teleport and we can get out of here. I hope. Man, this thing takes forever to boot up, jeez. I'm so eager to go and... Well, we're still sitting here waiting for things to get booted up. We're almost there. Any day now. The primary 
Erasmus have reached full charge. Simmons, release the damping locks and open the field. And there we go. Ooh, seizure territory. Focal point. Oh, everyone's here. It's a party now. Anything around here that I should know about? Nope. Okay. Oh. It's more of these guys. Okay, at least we got those healing pools. Now, how do we get up there? Oh, right. This is Zen. Zen has lots... Or, no, lack of gravity, I should say. Very little gravity. Oh, I can get up this way. That makes sense. I don't know. Or not. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this way? This way looks feasible. So is there two ways to go, or is this the only way to go? I'm going to go this way. Alright, I'm going to go the other way. I'm just saving after enemy because enemy, you never know. Ow, that hurt. So is this like the final area? Are we actually almost done this? I kept saying it was probably short, but man, it really is short. Holy shit. Ugh. Get out of here. There we go. Oh yeah. Here comes that 90s beat. Oh, and just as when the song was getting good, it's over. Is this like a maze? Is that what's going on here? Oh, shit. Okay, well, we can't go that way. Oh, there's like four paths to go through here. Holy shit. I see what the gimmick is here. Well, hopefully this doesn't take forever to get through. Uh, this doesn't damage me, so I'm going to go through. Where'd he go? I can't get out of here. Or can I? Can I get up here? Oh, hi there. My gun doesn't work underwater. Shit. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, good. Let's just go this way. They can go for a nice swim. I don't care. Turn my flashlight off for a second. Oh, I can't even see. Wow. It's like actually dark in here. Is this new? Oh, hi there. Wow, wow, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I'd like another one of those healing pools at some point. Oh, we're back here now. Alright, that was not the right way to go. Let's try this way. We haven't gone this way yet. I mean, it's quite possible that was kind of the right way to go. But I just chose the wrong path in that last junction that I went through.
Yeah, I probably shouldn't break my only source of light. That seems like a really stupid idea. On the plus side, we can use all the carnage to figure out which ways we've tried already. Have I been here already, or is, were these open to start with? That's interesting. I hope I didn't open these yet. Oh, loading zone. That's good, right? I think. This is new. I must have found the right way to go. I love how it just hurts you coming out. Like you have to take dedicated damage. Oh. We were here already. Well, no wonder it was open. Alright, back we go. Okay, well, where else can we try? There's only... Well, there's two paths. Let's go this way. I don't think this is the way I came from just now. I'd like to get back to that room. Man, everyone's like complaining about normal Zen being boring, but did they just end up forgetting about this maze or something? Because... Oh, hey. This is progress, right? Oh, where'd you come from? Got some ammo out of that. Man, those things look disgusting. Disgusting on the helmets. They look kind of cool otherwise, but I guess I could see why Gordon never wore his helmet. Also, this is a dead end. Sweet. Alright, well, we're going back in. Man, I should just, like, start drawing a map or something. Oh, well, if it comes to it, I can look up a map, and then at least we have a map. I think we can figure out where to go here. Alright, this is that first room. I think this is the first way I went. Right? Yeah, maybe? I don't actually remember. I think I went left. Let's try going right. Hopefully I didn't go this way before. No, this leads back to this room. Okay, this is where I came from. You know what? That's probably a good thing. Because there's a healing pool here. So that's where I originally came from? Yes. Wait, no. Did I come from underwater? Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should go that way. I don't remember coming from that way. Yeah, okay, so I came from the water here, down this place. Alright, let's try going this way then. Yeah, this is new. Okay. Oh, it's a loading zone too. Okay, good. I think we made it through that maze. Yes, we did. Okay, Zen platforming time. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, wonderful. Also, is it just me, or can Barney not jump as high as Gordon? Am I wearing heavier armor? Does the hev suit assist with jumping? I mean, it has that sprint function in Half-Life 2. Oh god. Quick! Oh god! Quick! Quick! Uh. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, no. We need guns. Pull out guns. Any gun. Any gun will do. Good. Was oh, that the, the Zen sun? Just always sitting there forever?
healing. That's good. Oh no! I didn't mean to fall. Okay, I'm going to take all these guys and make sure I get a nice good heal in. Actually, do I need... Well, I don't know. They're going to shoot at me and then I'm going to want the heal. So, yes, I'm going to take them out. Good. Also, maybe there's something over there? I don't know. Oh, are they just going to shoot at me now? That's sick. Alright, you want... Forget it. We're just going to go this way. Hopefully, they don't um, shoot this out. That's good. Okay, good. Just wait for me to fully heal and then we'll just go this way, I guess. Okay, now we're ready to go. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm not very good at bunny hopping. That's probably not going to work. Oh, I can go this way, though. Shoot. Ah, here we go. Oh, right into the weird sludge. I don't even know what this is. Some sort of primordial ooze. Go, quick, to the top. Oh. Where am I? Die already, please. Let me out. Okay. Whoa, who, where, who, what? Where are we going? Are we going this way? Uh, yes? Yeah, yes, probably, as soon as I can figure out how to jump properly. Yeah, we'll go this way. Oh, it's healing. Excellent. I'll take this for sure. And then ammo too. Reload all my weapons in the meantime. Oh, only one extra bullet left. That sucks. Well, I'm sure we're close to the end by now. I mean, if we're in Zen, mind you, opposing force made you go to Zen briefly, and then you left. So, I don't know. Where is this? Are we? Oh. You yeah, forget you. I'm gonna go this way. I'm falling the water. Oh, this just leads back here. Well, shit. Did I want to go the other way then? Maybe. Can I get up here? No. I guess we'll just have to go back this way. Alright, that's fine. So I just have to make sure I go right instead of left this time. Yeah, this way. Oh, I'm out of bullets for this thing. Well, shit. sucks. I don't know where I was supposed to go. This way, maybe? Yes. Oh, 
wait, no bullets. Uh, this maybe? This seems like a good one. Yeah, I've got like 100 ammo for this. Shit. Oh, the teleporter! We made it! Oh, look at that crystal. Let's see, that's how they're using the teleport. Okay. We need to power this on. Do we just break this open? No. I turned it on. Oh, here we go. I think. Ah, here we go. Okay. Set them for home. Or what is this for? Have to get that in the red zone? Yep. Okay. Can they go the other way? No. Okay. You have to go all the way around because gameplay, right? That's fine. Okay, good. So, what does that do exactly? Oh, there we go. Focus emitters aligned. Oh shit. Time to bait. Oh jeez. Yo, oh, no, not you guys. Oh, I hate you guys. I don't think I can get up there, can I? Uh, not really. Not easily. Shit, I'm gonna die. Is there healing around here somewhere? Yes, thank you. Can I use my other gun to actually shoot straight? I cannot reach you. Get back down here. Can I just leave? Like, forget you and leave? Yeah, I can actually. Oh. See you later. Uh, what killed me? Oh, sick. Okay. That was smart. Okay. That was also not a good choice. Oh shit. I need to get to health. How did I do so well the first time? What the hell? Give me that health, give me that health. Okay. Do I have ammo to shoot this guy? Oh, that guy's still coming after me. Nah, that's probably a waste of ammo. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's those guys. Wow, that's all I needed from him. Well, shit. Okay, what's next then? Because there's this guy back here. <laughs> nice vibrate reverb effect. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going then. Because I came from up there. I came down here. Can we check the console? Tell me what it says. Focus emitters aligned. Okay. Do we just click a switch? Or am I supposed to break this crystal? No. Do I turn this on more? Uh, nope. It is as on as on can be. Hmm. What's that red light flashing mean?
Am I supposed to like click on something or? Is there another thing that I can go to? Somewhere else I can, like another hole I can go down that I missed? Not that I see. Cause I was in here, this is the only other place I can go. I don't, doesn't seem likely I'd have to backtrack, so. Oh wait, I can go up here, duh. Oh, right into a healing pool. That's nice. Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna go heal again. I lost a lot of health just from that. Man, these things are always so slow. I have a feeling there's gonna be like one more area once we get back from Zen. I don't know, just seems appropriate, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, shoot. Oh, and I'm out of ammo again. Crap. Okay. And I'm out of ammo for that, too. Excellent. Good thing those only take two shots. Oh, when did I pick up so much revolver ammo? Okay, I don't know why I'd want to use this jump pad. This seems like a terrible idea. Although I do see a scientist over there. So, maybe? Okay. What is next? Okay. Oh, let's not waste this ammo. I'm going to use the crowbar. That's very valuable ammo, that revolver ammo. That could be why I used to defeat the boss, actually. I don't need you taking any cheap shots at me when I'm turned my back. Down again? Okay. Oh hey, there's a teleporting orb. Can we use this to get home? Jump! There we go, made it. We're back. Did we make it? Okay, it's on. The signal we're getting is very strong, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. Uh oh. The power reserves were just enough to open the field for your trip to the border world. If we plan on keeping the teleporter open long enough to calculate a safe exit point and allow time for everyone to go through, someone will have to go to the lower level and retrieve another power cell. A few of our colleagues went down there a while ago, but we haven't heard from them since. I can only fear for the worst. I hate to keep putting you in this position, but you must realize that if someone doesn't go down there, then none of us will get out of here alive. Besides, you're the best equipped to deal with any dangers that may be waiting. Here, I'll show you to the access elevator that leads to the power generator. Alright, let's go. Told you there'd be more. We're not done yet, although I'm pretty sure we're very close. This way? Auxiliary generator access, though. So that's probably it. Ah, uh, here we are. Down below are the old power generators that were used to service this lab. You should find what we're looking for down there. Once you've located a new power cell, make sure it's charged and send it up the freight lift. 
All right. Let's give it a try. Let's get that power cell so we can leave this place. Power struggle. Oh, right away. Okay, what's this way? Can we go up here? No, we cannot. Oh, yes, we can. Shit. Okay, well, that's fine. Can we go this way, too? No. Nah. Okay, we're only going this way. That's fine. Alright, up we go. Now, if I was a power generator, where would I be? Ugh. If we don't get the power cell charged, we're all going to die. Oh shit, no. Get out of here. No. Oh no. Open the door, open the door. I can get in. I can save you. Ugh. Or not. Well. How do we... Oh no, they found us. Shit. How'd they get down here? How'd they get in there? Where am I going? I, there was no other way to go. This is the only way to go. Okay, slamming my head against these doors constantly is not going to do anything. Maybe I can go this way now, somehow? Oh no, they're coming through. Shit. Hide. One of those engineers. Alright, any day now. That'd be nice. Half-Life games are very confusing. You are correct. They can be sometimes, like, they don't seem like you should be able to backtrack. But then sometimes, you know, you have to. And it's like, oh, well, I wasn't expecting that. Also, a lot of little things like doors not opening until certain events happen. But there's not really any logical reason for that to happen. They just, doors are just magically unlocked. But, I mean, you know, you kind of get used to it, and then it's just like, you, you learn to try everything. And then it eventually makes sense. Eventually you get through it. As long as you keep pushing forward, it's fine. Of course, I don't know what Half-Life 2 is like. I've never played that game, so... Maybe they improve things, or things are worse? I don't know. Where are you going? Now, what I would really like is some health. There is a severe lack of health. Auxiliary power. Can we can we turn you on? From here? No, okay, I'm getting shot at. That's not good. I've unexpectedly skipped so many parts in Half-Life 1. Can you actually skip parts in Half-Life 1? I mean, I played it recently on stream, but I couldn't tell you if I did or not. Like, it didn't feel like I did. But maybe I'm sure I must have missed like some secrets. At worst, but if I miss like critical path elements somehow, that's insane. I would have never known. It was seamless. Half Life 2 is still the same. Okay. Haven't finished it. You can skip parts accidentally, at least in my case. That's weird. Wow. That's interesting that you could just skip so much stuff so easily. I mean, I kind of like that. Like, that means that the levels are really open and it's kind of neat for that reason, but at the same time, it kind of sucks because, like, you would have had no idea. And, you know, if you were trying to see as much of the game as possible then we are kind of shit out of luck then without a guide and of course I'm not going to go a route through with a guide I'd like to see if I can figure stuff out the puzzles and all that alright what we got here so we got some sort of coolant antifreeze just gallons upon gallons upon gallons of antifreeze I guess if you got generators down here powering an entire facility it makes sense you're going to need a lot of coolant can we go up here? We can? Yes? Okay. Oh shit. Antifreeze pretty tasty. I mean, it does look pretty good. Not gonna lie, it does look like some like Mountain Dew. Baja Blast Mountain Dew. Oh, that's how we get here. Okay. 
See, also these shortcuts don't make a lot of sense because, like, I never have a reason to go back through here. Ever. Because, like, the linear nature of the game. Like, why would I backtrack to here? Just doesn't make a lot of sense. Because you can quick save anywhere, right? It's not like there's a checkpoint system I need to be worried about. Oh, this is out. Doesn't look like it's out. Yeah, just run into my bullets. Oh, shit. Can I pick up more ammo? Thank you. Can I, can I take all these for health? Hell yeah. Oh, shoot. What are they shooting at? Oh, it's one of those turrets. No, no, it's the guy. Wow, he was shooting a lot. How do you have so much ammo? Jeez, I want his gun. Like the bil blue milk for stars. Yeah. Man, I wonder what kind of milk that is. Is that ever explained in Star Wars? Where that milk comes from? Is that like... I, I know there's bantha milk. Is that the same thing or is that something else? Is that what everyone's drinking? Is that what they're serving at the bar in, in Tatooine? Moss Eisley? Pretty sure it's the same. Okay, that's probably what it is. Yeah, I'm constantly... You know what? It was a running thing when I was playing Half-Life 1, like the, the, the main game. 2 HP. Entire game. I don't know, remember if I picked hard mode or not. I don't think I did. I think I picked medium as well. I've been picking medium for the expansions too. And yeah, it's just like 2 HP, 5 HP, 1 HP. Power struggle, just like it says. Okay, where are we? Have you played uh, Blue Shift before? Do you know for... Oh shoot, don't use that weapon. For close to the end? I feel like we've gotta be, because... I just came back from Zen. This sounds like ending music. Picked hard, think you'd make the game more entertaining. Yeah, I, maybe I did that too. Maybe that's why, and I quickly, instantly regretted that. Not yet? Oh man. Because, like, I was looking at things. I remember seeing someone do a play, th a playthrough. That's like one of the other, another streamer I watch. They had a video upload to YouTube. It was like Half Life Blue Shift, two and a half hours. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. That it's only one part, but it's two and a half hours long. That seems kind of short. So that's why I was wondering if this is like a really short Half Life game or not. What are we doing here? So, do we need these to get in place? Coolant, chemical hazard. Probably shouldn't jump in that. I'm working on getting through all the Half-Life games for its original expansion. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Half-Life Alex came out. I got it for free because I bought the Index controllers because I love VR and, and I make sure to get all the uh, the latest gadgets for it. I've got like full body and everything. And it's like, you know what? I've never played Half-Life before. Alex looks fun. Why don't I stream Half-Life the entire series? Because I never played any of them. So that's what I'm doing. Streaming all the games in order. Okay, this is where I came from. Can I get some more health? Okay, that's about as much health as I can get. I can't get through here. This door is definitely shut. I can't get through this door. This door is also just that. Oh, thank you for the follow, Pelolos. Am, am I saying that right? Paolos? Paolos? Okay, this is where we also were. Because I came across... Yeah, I went through here. Whoops. No, can't use this. Is that something I should be able to use? Do I need to get up there? How do I get up there? Is there a ladder? I feel like I need to go press that button. I don't know if that's something I need to press now, or if that's, like, my destination. Black Mesa is a very confusing facility. Also, I probably should press that button up there. I just noticed it, so let's go do that. Definitely takes a scientist to get around this place. Here we go. No. Hmm. Second time was right? Are you saying I'm supposed to jump down? Just 
want to make sure there's nothing else I missed up here in the meantime. Oh, loading zone? No, this is where I was. Do I want... Oh, maybe this got cut. Maybe I just need to do this. No, okay. If I press this, is something stupid going to happen? Oh, okay. Coolant pump. This is where I need to go. What if I throw an actual explosive at it? No. Okay. Well, that's a bust. Oh, insane, my name is. Oh, okay. Second time was right. Okay. Well, I'm glad I guessed it correctly at some point. Now, we gotta solve this puzzle. So, we need to get across here. I don't know if there's, like, a bridge or... I guess the coolant drain probably will fix the problem. So, we need to do that first. That's definitely a dead end. We can't go that way. This also seems like a dead end. So, probably going to give up on that. So, I can't press this button. This is act level 2 access lift. I do not want to jump in that coolant. I would like to figure out how to get over there, if possible. If I jump across here... Oh, I can stand on this. Ooh. Does that let me get up here, then? Come on. Ah, uh, come on. No, no, no. Oh my gosh, I had it. No, get out, get out, up. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I think I got myself in a real pickle here. Fortunately, I haven't become a pickle yet. That'd be some weird experiments that they're pulling if that's the case. Can I just jump and hit this? No. I don't even see how I'm supposed to get over there. If at all. Clear area while lift in operation. Alright. Something tells me I can't press any of these buttons because I don't have power. So this is probably also later. Yeah. Well, let's go up here again. I don't know. Did I go this way? Yes, I did. Excuse me, let me up. Elevator access. Wait, this is where I was. Is this door? No, this door is not going to be magically open. Okay, this is where we came from, right? This is that shortcut that I questioned the usefulness of. Can I get over there? Okay, coolant chemical hazard. So we need to get rid of the coolant. We need to go this way, probably. This is also broken. How far into the game are you? That's what I'm wondering. Um, I did look up a guide for like one puzzle earlier. And I think it said I was like halfway. And that was like barely an hour in. So can't be that much long. Oh, wait, can I jump up here? Am I that stupid? I think I can climb these. If I remember from Opposing Force, yep. I forgot about that. There we go. Okay, never mind. Problem solved. Turn on my flashlight because it's very dark. Yeah, it doesn't really tell you that you can do that. It was a required... Ooh, hi there. Oh, not you. Oh, that you're the last thing I want to use. I do not like you. It was a required thing in Opposing Force. And I think it it, it made sh it sure to teach you in like a, a normal video game way. It doesn't really do that here. That's the first time you have to climb one of those. And I don't think it's that obvious that you do. Now what do I do though? Because I need to get... I can't break that. Is there something here I can break? Can I just like climb my way up here somehow magically? No. This feels like the right idea. Can I shoot it? Wait, am I supposed to use these? Oh no. I'm saving here. Oh yeah. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh yep, 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 yep. This is why I don't like him. The only weapon that can possibly attack you instead of your enemies. What if I shoot this? 
No. Want to make sure I'm not spoiling too much for myself. <laughs> Did you skip the tutorial chapter? No, I played the uh, I played the hazard course. I actually skipped that in the original Half Life. I might go back and do that once I'm done here, just to see what it looks like. Because it seemed like each one was unique. I did Opposing Force, and that was fun. You went through, like, the army training camp. This one was a little more bare bones. Probably similar to the hazard course in... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Probably similar to hazard course in Half-Life 1. Definitely can't break that. Hmm. I need to get up here, I think. I just don't know how you possibly can. Oh, that was really dumb. I'm not I'm not saving I'm not keeping that. We're going back here. Okay, I might look it up just because. Hmm. I mean, honestly, plot-wise, there's not really a lot going on in Blue Shift. You basically, you come to work, shit happens, as you expect. Okay, that's a little better. I'm okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that for now. Shit happens, and now you're working on how to get out of here. That's basically it. So we're looking for, trying to get a power generator, so we can power the teleporter to basically teleport us out of the facility. This has to be the right way. I I'd, I'd see literally no other way to go. I'm going to load my save. Forget that. I don't know what else I can do with this. So you said you were in Half-Life 1 still, right? Okay. How far in... Do you remember what chapter you were on in that one? Can I break a pipe? Interloper. Uh, that was... That's like when you first... I think Interloper was... Uh, that's when you first get to the surface, right? And you first start seeing the army? I think? I don't actually remember what Interloper was. You know what? I'm looking this up. This is... Uh, this is kind of ridiculous. Like, I don't know where else I could possibly go except here. Fortunately, I've still got the guide open right here. So we're going to take a look. Power struggle. Focal point. Power struggle. Here we go. Yep, power struggle is like right at the bottom of the uh, walkthrough. So definitely getting close. Okay, stand by the big door when your labs lift so you can only see the right half. Yeah, supplies. We did that. Hmm. Yeah, we did that. Climb up it, around the edge, so you're in a large wall. Great. Bastion, jump in the shaft. Run along until you can bash another grain drop into the room with a dead marine. Look near him to find some snarks, an ammo canister, an assault rifle, and health pack. Go back to where you came. Then get on the large open grate and crouch jump to the railing after quicksand in case you fall painfully. Auxiliary generator access story to the right of the redoom. Didn't I do that? <laughs> Whatever. Guess we're going doing that anyways. Oops. Let me bring up chat. It's before the Nahalanth. Pretty sure. I don't know the names of like any Half-Life anything. All I know is that head crabs exist. That's about it. Uh, uh, forget that. So, we do have to go this way, apparently.
I'm gonna save right here. I need to jump on this grate. Okay. So we need to go auxiliary generator. We're going this way. Which led to here. That is already broken. Are we supposed to shoot this? The shooting No, shooting doesn't do anything different. Can I blow this up? No. I don't think I'm supposed to swim in this, am I? This seems like a really bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh wow. Nope, that's just insta death. Oh shit, that's not. I hit that glitch. Wait. Okay, okay. We can push this. Somewhere. Wait, I can yeet this, can't I? No. This gets stuck right here. I don't know where else I can go. Oh shit, that's death. Hmm. Okay, what does it say to do next? Because I'm now, like, really curious. When you're on the core and you'll come across a plunger specific below. Yeah, and then... Then refrain one hand grenades, get the assault rifle quick save before going down the hallway in order to the big door with the red light over it. The hallway with the big door and the red light over it. What? That's this way, right? Hallway with the big door and red light. I don't see any... I'm confused. Oh, wait! I know what I can do. Fuse is broken. This metal... Metal... Tank... Can... Is that the puzzle? I bet that's the puzzle. Let's see if this is the puzzle. Wow. I forgot about that. So one of the things in the tutorial it said, it made a big deal, is that you can push and pull objects. It specifically mentioned that you could pull. And pulling, I'm pretty sure, was not something you could do in Half-Life 1. Oh boy. So it seems to me that crates and pushing and pulling things would be a big puzzle element in this game. Just like the hook shot and rope climbing was a big thing in Opposing Force. That's also a lot of headcrabs, holy shit. Oh, that is a lot of headcrabs, holy shit. That again? I think that got him. Yeah, the headcrabs like really suck. I didn't have too many problems with them in Half-Life 1, but this game, they come out of nowhere. I've had them jumping off like huge shafts that I didn't think they could jump out of before. Like they and or they were hiding right behind a grate. They definitely couldn't see them through. They were just there. So this game likes to really pull them out of their ass. Specifically, Half-Life 1 was fine. I don't think they were too bad in Opposing Force, but this one specifically was, uh, yeah. Okay, so the coolant's gone. Not sure how that's going to help me here. Oh, shit. I'm going to finish this way first before we continue on. So there's an elevator. We could probably use that to help get our generator that we need. Possibly. Or we just use it to go down. I don't know. Especially the small ones made by the Gonark. Oh, yeah! That was in, uh... That was in Zen. One time I quick saved at 1 HP a second before I... Yep. I've done that so many times where I quick save in a really stupid spot that I regret. It's something you just have to learn. Like, over the years I kind of learned it. I think my first instance of a video game with quick saving was Oblivion. So, like, maybe 10 years ago. And it quickly taught me how to properly quick save and quick load. Alright, so I guess what I can do... I think I see what's going to happen here. So, 
I need to make a path with these barrels that's going to let me cross this gap. And... Ooh, yeah, maybe don't do that. So I need to line these up in a way that makes sense. Because then I'm probably going to have to flood it with coolant again and hope for the best. Oh, these can be definitely moved over. Oh, I got four barrels. Okay. There's a lot of room here for trial and error. Uh, I just hope I get this right the first time because that would suck if I have to come back down here. Ooh. Yeah, honestly, sometimes, like, the, the only thing I can really tell you is just remember to try and learn to quick save in the bare spots. <laughs> like, because I made so many poor quick saves. Don't, don't quick save when you're getting fired at. It's okay to quick save maybe just before you start getting fired at, if even if you have low health and you can learn to move like out of the way quickly. That's something I did a lot. Um, but yeah, the best thing to do is just save when there's no enemies. Save after you just defeat an enemy, but there's no other enemies like immediately around you. Maybe they're around a corner even. This game I was I've been saving like pretty much after every single enemy. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I can jump these well enough. Okay. This seems easy enough to do. Like, that should... Yeah, this should work. Maybe I just put them all on here. Kinda, and then... That might be the best. Just make, like, a solid line. I should be able to jump that. That looks... plausible. Maybe not this one so much. Oh, god. Pulling is so janky. Oh, I guess they're stuck down here. Well, okay. I guess that's that. Let's hope this works. Uh, how do we... I guess I have to go back up. One time I quick load, it turns out that my quick save is two chapters again. Ooh! Check your your other saves, because usually there's an auto save that's like during your last loading zone, or at least at the beginning of a chapter. Even if you don't think there is, there probably is. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Uh, maybe? I'll just do a save here so I can quickly jump back if I need to, but... That doesn't look... too impossible. Oh, well, there's good thing there's lots of ways to speedrun in Half-Life. Oh, hey, let's not do that. Oh, hey, 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 ooh, let's just die, yeah. Great, okay. Well, that works. I'm just going to need to do some shooting first. <laughs> Fortunately, there's lots of ways to do it. You can do zigzag running, you can learn to bunny hop, which I suck at. I still haven't quite figured that one out. Shit. Okay. Group rockets. Eh, that was probably a waste. I just realized the other, the big guy was dead. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe? Question mark? I hear another one. Where's he at? Up there? Oh, right here. Okay. Oh no, Marines. Let's go over here. Oh, I see you up there. Don't think I don't notice you. Okay, good. Now do I have rockets to shoot him? Oh no, I don't. No, I don't. Where's my bullet hell dodging skills? Also, those rockets are missing hardcore. Let's not use them. There we go. That's good enough, I guess. Okay, am I going to have to do this puzzle again? Probably. Or something like it. Oh, yeah, let's just run into the fire. That's smart. Oh yeah, look at that fire just shooting out. Can we go around it? Yes, we can. Okay, these crates have been, like, not kind to me at all, all game. Opposing force, crates are really nice. That's where you get most of your ammo from. 
This game, not so much. Get my way. Stupid corpse. Control room. Is this what we're looking for? Maybe. Unit 1, on. Unit 2, on. What exactly is that doing? Oh, is this going to turn on the power? Probably. Hell yeah, let's go. I just want to make sure it turns on. Oh, jeez. Are we opening portals with these? Oh no, power's on. Good. Okay. With the power on, I'm sure we can go do stuff. Probably unlock like a whole bunch of shit to do. The units are the the high speed blenders for the blue milk milkshake. <laughs> yeah, that's how they that's how they make the milkshakes. I mean there there's like apparently they have their own pizza place and taco place inside Black Mesa, so maybe they sh they sh they serve this there. Maybe that's what all this is for. How am I getting out of this? No, actually, how? I'm not running through that. That's really deadly. What? I can't crouch jump up this. Excuse me? Oh, wait. Could I just have jumped from the balcony? I'm an idiot. Oh. Wait, what? This is new. Oh, I can go this way. No, wait, this is where I was. Oh, wait, but I can do that. Okay, never mind. Uh, excuse me. Don't stop, please. Thank you. Disneyland exposed. Black Mesa is the priority supplier of food for Disney World Florida. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Okay, so we need to go with this. What does this do? Oh, that's how we get across. Wait, wasn't there like also a blue drink in one of the... One of the Pixar movies as well? Oh, you know what? They probably just serve it as Bantha milk. I bet that's what they do. Since, you know, they own Star Wars now. Makes sense. They can just serve it as Bantha milk. Oh, I'm already at full health. Right. Okay, so this gets us back to here. Oh, this is where that guy died earlier. A generator! Ah, this is what we probably need to do for. You have to get this power cell charged and back up to Dr. Rosenberg. I'd help, but I'm hurt pretty bad. How do we charge we it? Probably push the power cell through the fence into the charging station behind me. Okay. Let me see if I can get out of the way. Okay. Ooh. Careful. Whoa. Oh. All right. Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate for him, but thank you for moving. Very helpful. Of course, you know, they're probably not serving their milk to Disneyland anymore with, with the troubles that happened. Doing the flop in 2020. Yep, one final flop. What a trooper. Are we all nice and charged? Excellent. Can we take you out? Thank you. Yeah, just yeet it through. Look at that. Holy shit, you can like surf with it if you press the push button. Or the pull button, I mean. Yep, we go. Power cell delivery lift. Payload accepted. Cool. Too bad I couldn't ride with it, but that's alright. We'll just go up there ourselves. Alright, well I guess this is what that shortcut's kind of for. And we're done. Maybe now we can finally leave this place. That would be nice. So do you have any plans to play Half-Life Alex, or do you have the, the means to play it even? I guess would be the bare question. We've already begun preparing the device with the fresh power Can't afford it, damn. This time, however, the is going to be a Understandable. 
so I'll need you to help me in the main room. Let's hurry. There's no time to waste. No longer run VR? How so? Did it like run VR, older VR or something? Like, did you have one of the uh, Oculus dev kits from years ago? Oh, you fried your CPU. Ooh. All right. I'll stay down here to well, it's at least it still works. Or that's what you're implying, anyways. Okay. Once the process has started, you'll also need to release the damping locks each time the system has charged in order to open the displacement field. What happened to your scientist friend that did it before? The process is simple, and I'll let you know when you need to do something. But where's your scientist friend? He did it before. Why can't he do it this time? How do we get up there? Oh, this way. Okay. Only found out when it's upgrading your RAM. Hmm. Well, at least it works. I'm assuming that's what you're using right now. Ah, main power. Yes, that's probably it. Stand by, Calhoun. Once the system is initialized, it will take a few moments for the interpolating resonance coils to achieve focus. By 1660, I'm like, oh. Yeah, I heard about those. Like, I know that they went to the 20 series, but then I guess they went back and did, like, a 16 series as well? I'm not really sure what that is in comparison, but I'm guessing it's just some sort of, like, in between the 10 and 20. Oh, shit. No! Quick, 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 quick! Did, did, oh shit. I'm sticking to streaming older and lower quality games because I can't stream like R6 anymore. Ah, yeah, that sucks. I don't know why I do if my graphics, something on my gear broke. I've been pretty lucky the last few years. Nothing's broken yet. Alright, so we're just continuing business as normal now? Yet. I mean, well, okay, so I've I've built two computers in the last, like, ten years. And I was always scared I was going to break something trying to build them. Like, especially putting a CPU together. This one? You mean the button, not the switch? Come on, even I know that's a button. Okay. That was... That's why I thought I'd put for smell on his line. Oh, yeah. Like, I put my CPU, like, in the, in the tray, and then you, like, put the thing over it. And you like you just hear these like clicking like almost crunching noises like did I break a pin or something in there because I I kept the tutorials fun is like don't break the pins whatever you do don't bend those pins and I was so worried so worried that I broke something but I've done it I've done it twice now and it's been fine but that's like the one part that was always the scariest is breaking that. Yeah, exactly. Like, if I broke something, it wasn't really... Like, it was one thing that breaking, I didn't have the computer, but wasn't... Oh, I hear s soldiers. That's not good. Quick! Hurry it up! But it's like, yeah, you, I didn't have the money to replace it at the time. So, it's like, it was a one-shot thing. Why don't you go through this way? It's closer! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Where are they? They're coming through the door! Quick! <laughs> As a kid, my average income was about 50 bucks a year. Wow, that's like 50 bucks more than I got a year. I mean, okay, no, that's a lie. I mean, I got birthday money and, and Christmas money and all that. But even so, it's like... Oh shit. Oh no! Go, 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 go! I'm again out of here.
Oh, I can't jump that. I can't jump that. I have to go down the ladder. Shit, go in, go in, go in. Here. Are we done? Did we do it? Are we free of Black Mesa? Whoa. Seizure warning. Holy shit. Calhoun, you've arrived. When you didn't come through right away, we thought that the... Oh, no. There's something wrong here. Simmons, come look at Calhoun. What? His body seems to be in some sort of resonance displacement. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not this again. PC is like Andrew. Damn. I ended up spending like 2000 on mine, which is a combination of... Um, like me wanting like the best stuff and also because I'm in Canada where everything's way more expensive I Made that money myself by helping that stuff. That's nice. Not can't pay day money Oh, thank God you made it. I was worried that a malfunction occurred at the last moment and you might have been caught in an infinite harmonic reflux if Well, that's good case, that I wasn't wherever that is here. Then again, we're all lucky Thanks to you, however, we were actually able to pull off this half-brained idea. We made it, Mr. Calhoun. We made it. Hell yeah. We're free. They did. But I don't think that was Gordon Freeman because, um... That actually... that That's not Gordon Freeman. I'm not going to spoil it, but I'll tell you right now, there's no way that could have been Gordon Freeman. Because if, if you actually aren't familiar with the ending of Half-Life 1, then then yeah, I'm, I won't say anything else. But don't worry, that's not Gordon Freeman. No, that's like every scientist wears them. So once you get to Zen, you'll see there's like a whole bunch of Hev suits around. Because there's like a bunch of people that actually went there before. And obviously there's... The, the HEV suit's just like a standard issue thing for a lot of scientists. But that wasn't Gordon. They don't capture him in, that, in, in Half-Life 1. Oh, you got to part? No, but remember, they ambushed him on the surface. Yeah, but didn't, um... I thought he was... I mean, I... Okay, so it's been a couple months that I beat the first one. But didn't he, like, get stuck with the G-Man? Then they threw him into waste process. Oh, right, that part. Hmm... Yeah, I don't... I think this is after it, though, because... They were... They already mentioned... In this one, in Blue Shift, they already mentioned them going to the Lambda Complex and doing stuff. So I think it's possible Gordon was already in Zen? I don't know. It, it, there's probably... I'm sure someone put together like a timeline of events for all three games. And the order of everything taking place. But I was under the impression that like halfway through Blue Shift was like the end of Half-Life 1. Like, he was already in Zen, so... I don't know. But yeah, you're right. There was that waste processing scene, so maybe he... Maybe that happened, too. Did Blue Shift come before or after Opposing Force? They made Opposing Force first, and then Blue Shift. Blue Shift came, I think, a year later than Opposing Force. I think Opposing Force was 99, and then Blue Shift was, like, 2000, 2001. I don't know. So, at the beginning of Blue Shift, you actually... So, you remember in the train scene... When in Half-Life 1, and then you see, like, the security guard just standing on that little tiny balcony halfway w during the train. That's 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 where you, who you play as in this game. That's Barney. That's Barney Callahan. And you can actually watch while you're waiting for the door to open. In this game, you can actually watch Gordon drive by in a train. So this game kind of takes place along concurrent with Half-Life uh, 1. Same as Opposing Force. Although Opposing Force is, like, so displaced from this game that it doesn't I don't think you ever see anything from opposing force in blue shift at all but both games take place concurrent in half-life 1 in opposing force you actually get to watch Gordon run into the port hurdle to go to zen and you have to follow him into the lambda core which is kind of neat so yeah it's kind of cool how they like put all games together oh wow thank you for the subscription as well well that was a half-life blue shift so next week we will start uh, Half-Life 2. 2 a.m. Yeah, that's perfect because I'm also going to head to bed. That's like exactly 12 o'clock, so that's perfect ending. So I do streams four days a week around 7 p.m. my time. It's currently midnight now, so I guess you're two hours ahead of me, so I guess it would be closer to 9 for you. 
I'll be doing some Pokemon Black 2 tomorrow. Uh, I used to do Mario Maker and Osu uh, later in the week. But if you want to come back and check out Half-Life 2 at all, if you're not too worried about spoilers, I'll be starting that one next week. Next Monday night. But yeah, so thanks for watching tonight. Uh, have a good night yourself. And I'll be back tomorrow with some Pokemon Black 2. Alright, let's end this thing. Oops.